offense that I'm doing. It's a light rain. It'll keep the ball wet, but it won't be impossible. And, and what you worry about from the coach's standpoint is that just inopportune the situation that occurs when the ball pops out, when a guy's running down the field and maybe a guy reaches from behind and, and just with a wet arm around the ball. Uh, you know, we got some guys that really hold on to the ball well over the, over the, le- the course of this year, and that's going to be important. The other thing that could, could be interesting, and, and I really didn't have a chance to talk to Coach Chronic today before the game as I usually try to to get a feel for the game, but, you know, if we're backed up on the one-yard line, you know, are we going to throw that deep pass out of, you know, in the rain and everything? I mean, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to call the game, you know, according to what, what he feels like on the sideline. Sometimes on the sideline you get that feel that, you know, we can do this or maybe it's not the right time to do this. So we're going to see what happens with the, with the bear offense. I worry about more about the offense for both teams, obviously, and under these conditions. The defense goes out there and gets after them, and they're going to try to jar that ball loose and, and rip it out every chance they get. And while the Bears are looking to become the first Lenore Ryan team ever to win 12 straight to open the season, Miles had their most wins in school history. This is the best season they've ever had in football. And they started way back in the early 1900s, so they won nine games this year, nine and two. Again, the second time they've made the postseason. You're listening to Bears Game Day. We'll step aside, come back with more, and we'll hear from Coach Chronic one last time as he previews Miles College this afternoon. I'm Juju Phillips with Mike McCree and Jack Huss, and we're glad you're aboard listening to us wherever you are and however you are along the lines on Bears Radio. Uh, Thanks for listening. We'll come right back right after this. This is LR Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. It's Nick. Today we're recognizing our heavy hitters of the game. Our weeks nine and ten winners are Amari Brown and Clayton Horn. Presenting Amari and Clayton with their awards are John Moran and Vice President for Athletic Kim Page. The New England University is proud to continue the tradition of the Ronnie Long Heavy Hitter Award this season. John will make a generous contribution to Habitat for Humanity in honor of Amari and Clayton for winning the Heavy Hitter Award. Let's hear it for Johnny Bow and our Heavy Hitters, number five, Amari Houston, and number 35, Clayton Horn. College getting ready to kick it off. Top of the hour. First round of the NCAA Division II playoffs. Juju Phillips, Mike McCree, Jack Huss coming your way this afternoon. Again, thanks for listening along the line on Bears Nation Radio. Time for our scouting report brought to you by Cheerwine as we find out the latest about Miles College. Head coach Drew Chronic. Well, his team are going up against Miles for the very first time. They're coached by Reginald Ruffin, and he says it's a big deal for his team to make the playoffs. Miles are called the Golden Bears, and according to head coach Drew Chronic, we get his final thoughts. They are indeed a sturdy bunch of players. Make no mistake, they are very deserving. They're a nine and two team. When you watch them, I you can see them improve. Um, I'm impressed with their coach, Coach Ruffin. Uh, he is he's a ball coach because he's got these kids playing hard. I get I watch a lot of their defense. I am. 
extremely impressing them defensively. They give up 250 yards a game statistically. Uh, they're better, like, from a yardage standpoint than we are on defense, and we're pretty dang good on defense. Now, they play hard, they play physical, and they play sound. Somebody's coaching those kids and making them do what they're supposed to do, so I've been very impressed. It's not going to be real complicated. They're going to run the ball right at us on the, on the stretch zone play, and they're going to do some RPOs. Um, the quarterback is a good athlete. Uh, they're going to be big and physical on the offense. They will probably be just absolutely huge up front. Um, but I've been impressed with their discipline and the, how hard they play. Head coach Drew Cronick bringing us today's Coach's Corner, brought to you by Cheerwine, looking at our scouting report. And, uh, Jack, when you talk about it, uh, he said some things that, to me, are uh, kind of catch words. Both teams like to run the football. Both teams are very good at stopping the run, two of the toughest things to do in football. And got a feeling today as both teams tried to establish running the football because of the wet weather, wet weather that that's going to be one of the keys to this matchup today. Well, I think one of the things that he said, Juju, that really struck me was about uh, he didn't necessarily use a word, but the discipline that they play with on defense. If you're not disciplined against us on defense, you're going to give up some big plays. Uh, the Bears have been able to uh, hit a few big plays. Not that the team was undisciplined, but you have to be disciplined to stay in the, the right place defensively because we'll show you one thing going to the right and we're coming back to the left. So that really impressed me when he talked about that. And he really, uh, you know, I don't know that I've heard Coach talk about somebody we haven't played. Uh, and I know coaches speak, you're always trying to build up the other team. But I was impressed and the uh, coach was impressed with watching this team and he knows they're talented. He knows there's some great athletes on there. We watched them warm up. And I tell you, if we, it's another one of those deals where if we were choosing up sides, we might not get the first pick, you know, because <laughs> they got some good-looking athletes on that football team. One thing to watch, again, uh, they won their conference championship game last week. You wonder, uh, are they satisfied with doing that? Because I don't think a lot of teams expected them to be making the playoffs this year, even though – uh, their head coach has a winning record, and they uh, they are a very good team. They're usually right in the mix of the SIAC. The teams that are in that league include teams that Lenore Ryan has played through the years, Benedict and Kentucky State, and some other schools as well. We'll see who is ready to go off today. We're waiting for the uh, toss of the coin and today's starting lineups. We'll step aside one final time. Come back with those starting lineups and kickoff this afternoon. It's Lenore Ryan and Miles College. Glad you're listening. This is Bears football powered by Carolina West Wireless.
Mike McCree. Moments away from kickoff. Playoff action, NCAA Division II style. Here from Moret Stadium on the campus of Lenore Ryan. Rain has been intermittent here so far today. Overcast, it's been raining all day, all morning, and uh, it's picked up again a little bit. The umbrellas come on out, and so have the Bears as they come out onto the field. Lenore Ryan lost the toss. Miles wins it. They take the football, so the Bears will kick off this afternoon. As we get ready, we'll set the defense for you first for Lenore Ryan starting up front for Lenore Ryan. That front four has just been superb this year. Jaquan Artis, All-Conference Defensive Player of the Year in the conference and other awards. He'll be up front along with Amari Houston, Dan Luba, and Tavis Robinson today. Clayton Horn and Sherrod Williams will get the start at linebackers. Milliken, Rosser, Scott, Taylor, and Jackson will start in the secondary. The Bears in all black today. Black helmets, jerseys, and britches. Miles comes in with a gray pants and jerseys along with purple and gold or yellow uniforms as well. They're going to receive it. Here's the kickoff. It's a high pooch kick. Fair catch called for at about the 25. A couple of bat players bump into each other, but they haul on to the football. So Miles will take over now at the 25 in the first possession. They're led by the quarterback, uh, P, uh, Daniel Smith, out of Peoria, Arizona. They like to run the ball. Dante Edwards and Justin Ruiz will start at running back. One of the things we haven't talked about, Juju, is we don't know how the, what kind of effect the, the numbers limit. Each team is allowed to dress 58 players. Mm -hmm. That could have an effect on special teams. We could have some guys covering kicks and doing some things in the kicking game that they have not done all season because you can't you can't dress but 58 players. Good point. Four receivers, two to each side. They're out of the shotgun. They'll come out of the spread look. Quarterback's a left-hander, Daniel Smith. Automatic. Here's a penalty. First play out. A delay a game will go against Miles. The Golden Bears, nine and two, five and one of their conference. They're coached by Reginald Ruffin. Eighth year here, and he has a winning record of 54 and 32. They beat Albany State in their championship game a week ago to get here. Not, <laughs> that's, that's kind of a surprise. First play of the game, you come out and you take too long. But they spent a lot of time on the sideline before they came out. First and 15. There's a handoff. Bears have them under pressure. And in the backfield, he is thrown down. Artis originally. Then Robinson coming off the defensive end. But Jaquan Artis with a penetration showed why he's the defensive player of the year in the South Atlantic Conference. Jaquan Artis, you called it perfectly, Juju. He came, he made first contact, but he beat that poor left tackle. That left tackle didn't have a prayer on trying to block him. He's way too quick for that young man. Second and 19, call it a loss of four. This time they come out again in the spread look. Four receivers running back to the right of the quarterback who's in the gun, standing in his 13. Quick drop, throwing over here and complete. Short of his intended target over there. Incomplete third and long now for Miles College. The Golden Bears, their team that likes to run it, Jack. So this is something the Bears are going to pin their ears back. Fifth in the nation with 40 sacks this year. Well, one of the things that you don't want to happen to you, if you're on the road in a playoff game in bad weather away from home is to start off the way they started off. A penalty and then a poorly thrown ball for an incompletion. They'd like to get back in, you know, and their first run play was a lot. They'd like to get back in some type of rhythm real quick here. Crowd's into it as well. Third and long. Quarterback out of the pistol. Quick slant across the middle. Tip nearly intercepted. Pass was intended over there for Tyree, and it was tipped through his hands to the Bears. Malik Taylor nearly had the interception. So here comes the punting unit. The Bear defense does its job, three and out. And Mitchell will go back to field it standing near midfield, so the Bears should get really good field position on this first possession. And the other thing that's in good favor for the Bears right now, there's not much rain falling. It's kind of a lull in the rain right now. So, you know, you saw the quarterback. He really didn't have any problem throwing the ball. The second throw was a really good throw. The defensive back was right there to break it up, and the ball slipped through the receiver's hands. But uh, he didn't have any trouble throwing the ball. The punter is Bradley Hamill. Excuse me, Jay Fitch standing at his own two. He looked good in warm-ups, too, kicking the ball. There's a high kick, and he tries to angle it, and he kicks it into the stands near midfield. So the Bears are going to get excellent field position. I think it was angling over there for Bears trainer Michael Flicker, who's out there in shorts and short sleeve shirt down there. 
It's oh. 45 degrees, guys. <laughs> yeah, we did, you know, we haven't mentioned the temperature to you, but it is a little chilly. You know, and when it's rain on the ground, you know, that probably going to affect the backs more than it does the linemen. Those, those linemen don't even think twice about it. Hey, thanks for listening. Long distance, our buddy Jeff Jones, Paul Bullock. Thanks for t- tuning in this afternoon. Bears Radio stretches across the nation. We've had people from Jamaica to out west, Indiana, Minnesota, and even up north listening to us online. Bears come out and a reverse. This is Ryan Carter with the run. He is upended, but not before he gets deep into Miles territory at the 35, calling a pickup of eight. But the Bears come out and run a reverse on the first play of the game from the 43-yard line and get get about eight, nine yards on that first carry. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm not sure who that was out wide out there, but he gets his block. That's a touchdown. The wide receiver was not able to, uh, to hold his block long enough to make that play work for a big, big gainer. Bears send a man in motion, play action. Willingham drag, rolling drag. right, and he dumps it off to Mitchell. First down, 25, and steps out of bounds near the 20. Nice little play action pass. Mitchell holds it in, takes it down to the 20. Quay Mitchell, what a performance this year. 16th reception, Jack. He averages 27 yards of reception. That time he got about 20. I was glad to see Jaquay Mitchell get all-conference second team because he has been the real go-getter for the Bears. This is Mitchell again. Takes it up the middle at the five and into the end zone. So Lenore Ryan, which outscores its opponents in the first quarter, 157 to 43, just handed it to Mitchell. And he takes it in from the land of milk and honey. A 21-yard touchdown. The Bears are on the board in the first two minutes of action. And I'll tell you, defensively, they they didn't know what to do. They lined up in base defense pretty much that whole series. But if you haven't seen Lenore Ryan's offense and played against it, it's really, really different when you come against it for the first time because we do so much so quickly. Like they were bump puzzle. Three plays, 43 yards, extra point is good. Elba has been perfect all year as an all-conference kicker. The Bears lead it. Your score, Lenore Ryan, seven. And Miles College, nothing. This is Bears football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. Center Street East, conveniently located in Beaumont, is proud to be an official sponsor of Lenore. Your suit is yours to create. Come, you, improved. Back here for the kickoff. Lenore Ryan scores in three plays to take the lead here, seven, nothing. Here's another high pooch kick. This time, uh, not as high, not as long back. It's going to be fielded at about the 32. And so Miles will get the football on their second possession of the football game. Time to step aside as we get our station identification. This is Lenore Ryan football right here on 96.5 WSVM. Mike McCree, Miles running the ball on their second possession on first and ten. They barely get up to the line of scrimmage, call it a gain of two. They try to run left here near side, and the Bears had him surrounded. Sherrod Williams coming in on the play, but that Bear front four again trying to stop the run of Miles. Came into this game, averages 31 points offensively, but about 200 yards on the ground so far. The Bears have done their job, second down and eight. Again, this time out of the shotgun. Two backs in the backfield, back to pass. Quarterback Smith, he's going to fire downfield deep. Bears had good coverage, tipped away. It out of the hands of Javar Smith, and also the big receiver had a chance. Antonio Lee, he had a chance maybe to catch that football. It fell incomplete, third and eight. They've got some big, tall guys, and I, I was just about to say, if I'm them, I'm, I'm thinking back to what teams have done against us successfully. Throw it deep in a one-on-one situation to a big, tall receiver. That's exactly what they tried to do. See if the Bears can get pressure. There's another flag, maybe a procedure going, call. Yeah, it's going against him. I, I, I don't understand this call, too, because the, the halfback just kind of moved a little bit. He didn't go anywhere, and it wasn't a quick move. Nobody jumped offside, but the official immediately threw the flag. We'll take it, though. We're not going to play Nice crowd starting to sift in here once the rain has stopped and slowed down. Nice student section over there hanging over the wall in the end zone. The Bears are, I think, streaming this game into the Bears Pavilion over there. 
So there might be a few guys and gals that decided to wait around and see what the weather was going to be like. Third and long now. Third and 13. Smith out of the gun. Turns and hands it off to the back. Running left with a nice hole and stop. Edwards met. Edwards 5'8", 215 pounds out of Mobile, Alabama. Leading rusher near 700 yards. Bears clamp him down. Bring up a punt now. So the second time, the Bear defense three and out. All conference Clayton Horn in there on the play. And, you know, I really think if he hadn't have been out and then hobbled for a couple of games, Sherrod Williams, Sherrod Williams and Jaquay Mitchell are the two guys that one on offense, one on defense, that I, that I see similarly, Juju. They both do a lot of things for the Bears, and they kind of go unsung a lot of times because they don't have their gaudy stats. Here's the punt. Line drive punt, not very good as well. And it goes out of bounds and nearly hit Flicker again over there. He's trying to he's kick the ball, the yeah. <laughs> well, he's trying to kick the ball to the boundary. I understand that, but, you know, he's when you're right-footed, you want to kick to the left boundary because if you kick to the right boundary, there's more chance you'll shank it off the side of your foot and the ball goes off sideways. So the Bears get the football. 35-yard line. 11.50 to go here in the first quarter. NCAA Division II playoffs. On WSVM Radio, glad you're aboard. LR has it, right hash mark. They'll send a man in motion. That's Dickey turning hand off Stevens. He has a hole, has a first down near midfield and into Miles' territory down to the 46 as the big running back, all conference, Amin Stevens found a big hole, gain of about 15. Bo Clifton and uh, uh, um, uh, Jefferson. No, uh, 50. Uh, yeah, 51 Finney. Brinson, Brinson. Oh, We're Brinson. all on the same side of the line of scrimmage there. That's why that play worked so well. We shifted and got them all on the same side, and then we just blew a hole in there. They put all three of our best blockers in the same, right beside each other. Great job. Bears had it at the 45, and then give it to Stevens again. He'll gain two, second and eight now. Again, LR continues to shift running backs there. They'll put out Stevens out to the uh, wide receiver there. He's out by the numbers to the right. They send a man in motion. Willingham's going to try to keep it, breaks a tackle, stiffs arms a man, sidesteps another, and gets it down to the 41. Made a nice little play out of almost nothing. Nearly thrown for a loss, picks up two. It'll bring up third and six. Yeah, the Bears didn't have a very successful play, but they have not tackled well. I will have to say that defensively. That's probably the biggest thing that's hurt them on the first drive. They had several chances to tackle and did not tackle well, and that play right there was a loss. That was a five, six-yard loss, but he just didn't tackle the quarterback. Again, they only give up about 80 yards rushing a game. They're one of the top running teams in the country against the rush, 13th overall. Here is Willingham. They're going to run another reverse. They had it snuffed out this time as Young had it. And he'll get about a yard. It's going to be shy. Bears try to run a reverse. And that time, Miles snuffed it out to the 40. So that'll bring on the punting unit. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it is going to be the punter. I thought he might try the long field goal. But you're right. Now, that was disciplined defense. The defensive end didn't chase. He stayed at home. And when the reverse came back, he was the only one back over here. And the running back had to turn it back inside and was not able to uh, maneuver enough to pick up the yardage. All-conference punter, Michael Owen. Sophomore out of Duluth, Georgia, standing at the 45. Gets the snap. Ball is away. Oh, High kick great angled great, inside great, the great. 20, inside the 10. Fair catch called for at about the 8-yard line. So that's where Miles College will come out on their third possession. Bears lead this game. 7 to nothing. Scored in three plays on their first possession in 43 yards. Again, Miles, school out of Birmingham, Alabama. They are a team coached by Reginald Ruffin. Played his college football at Northern Alabama, where he played on two national championship teams back in the 90s. Now in his eighth season, they started at their own eight. Again, out of the shotgun. It's a pistol formation. Three receivers out back behind the quarterback. Turns and hands it. Quarterback keeper, he slides down to the 10. Daniel Smith keeping it on the right-hand side. Slid down in front of the Bears that time. Tackled by Quentin Hayes. In there at the left defensive end, second down to nine, gain of one. Eric Jackson, an all-conference player as well, uh, along with Kyle Duggar. Even though Kyle missed the last few games, he was still selected all-conference as the return specialist and also as a safety on the uh, defensive team. Bears had a program record. Fifteen players make all-conference this year. Second down to nine. 
This time Smith will be out of the gun, standing at his own five. Three receivers out, quick drop, looks right, throws right, complete. Hit hard at the 14. Coming up to make the stop that time as Jabbar Smith making the stop on the receiver. Call it a gain of four. Going to bring up third and five now. The corner's in a little better position, too, to challenge that. We've had a lot of people throw that little short route in front of us, but our corners seem to be challenging a little bit more. That time the ball was thrown, and as soon as he took, caught the ball, he was tackled. There was no chance to run for extra yardage. Smith will get out of the gun again. Three receivers running back to his right, standing at his 10. He'll take the shotgun snap, backs up to his five, throws it over here. It is incomplete. Throws it low. He had enough for the first down. Rosser in on the coverage that time on Leonard Tyree. Three plays. For the third straight possession, three and out for Miles. So here comes the punting unit once again. 8.22 to go in the first. It's Lenore Ryan seven and Miles nothing. Coach Ruffin had to be happy with that last defensive series to get a three and out from the Bears, especially because we had pretty good field position to start with. But, you know, the offense has not been able to generate. If they're not going to be able to run the football, they generally run for, you know, what, 160 or 70 yards a game, something like that. You know, if they can't run the ball. Bears yeah. block it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Bears block the kick. Fielding it in his end zone. Number six. That is Trey Luttrell. How about Yep. How about that? Bears you know, we, blocked it. I don't know who blocked it, but they get the block in Luttrell. You talked about the special teams making a big difference early on, and the Bears have just scored their first special teams touchdown on a block kick in some time. It's now Lenore Ryan 13, Miles nothing. That may have been number five for the Bears, Amari Brown. We're going to find out right here. Here's the extra point is up and good. We'll keep it right here. 14 nothing in favor of the Bears on a special teams. Big play. It's Latrell. He blocked it and recovered it. Did he really? Yep. What a nice play by the freshman. Wide receiver, played high school quarterback. And out in Georgia, Aversham High School. And boy, I tell you what. He came from the outside. He blocked it, and then he kind of ran around to get back to the ball. Here it is again on the replay. We're watching the replay here on the computer. Boom. He blocked it. No, that's not him. That's not six. That's a different. That must be five. Yeah, I think it, it was Amari. Amari yep, and Brown, you're right. they were. Yep. I is. thought he ran around, but because it was a single digit. Six blocked it, and five recovered it. So the junior out of Warner Robins, Georgia, in Highland Community College, Amari and Brown gets the block, and Trey Luttrell. With the fumble recovery in the end zone, the Bears lead here 14 nothing. Off to a great start. The good guys leading here. Thank you for listening on WSVM Radio. 14 nothing. We'll give you some updates around the playoffs right now. West Florida leading Wingate. It was Bowie State on top of Carson Newman at last report. We'll get an update in a minute. Bears ready to kick it off. That game's still 9-7. Okay, 9-7 in favor West, of West Florida. State. West Florida leads uh, Winget now 17-3. A little bit of a surprise there. I thought I thought Winget, Winget would win that game at home, but, of course, it's not over. But 17-3, down two touchdowns real quick. Here comes a return. One of the players for Miles. A nice play by Luttrell. He again back down there, nearly made the tackle again. He slipped his tackle before the Bears wrapped him up. At about the 23-yard line, no, 21-yard line. So good special teams play by the freshman Trey Luttrell. And here comes Miles trailing 14-0, 8.07 to go in the first. Bears have done it with some big plays and the special teams early on to lead here. Lenore Ryan trying to go 12-0 for the first time in their 100-year history. First and 10. Miles out of the pistol. They'll send out four receivers. Quarterback takes the snap, turns and hands it straight up the middle, no hole. Bears meet him right there. Dante Edwards, and they push him all the way back to the 10-yard line. Gain of about nothing. I tell you, they're just, they're just not able to block our interior four. A lot of people have had trouble this year blocking those interior four guys. And I tell you, they've really had problems. They didn't move them anywhere. They gave him line of scrimmage but the Bears had him going backwards about as quick as he came in there. So, you know, if they're not able to run the ball and they're forced to throw the football, the left-handed quarterback has a long throwing motion and it takes a little while for him to get rid of the ball. 
And anytime you do, it's kind of like a baseball player. The longer you got throwing the motion, the easier it is to steal on him, and that's what cornerbacks can do. Back to pass, play action, throws it down the field incomplete. Threw it behind the receiver, Leonard Tyree, covered by Rosser over there. Yeah. Third and down it, and long. And he was open. He was open. That's just a bad throw so far. He has not been able to put the ball anywhere close to the target he's been throwing at. Daniel Smith, he passed for 15 over 1,500 yards this year, but he, he threw for 13 touchdowns, but he also had 11 interceptions. So that's kind of not, not, not what you'd like to have in your quarterback. About 50% of his uh, passes were completed, so that's not a good percentage either. And the ratio, touchdowns and interceptions, pretty high. Third and 10 now, standing at his 21. They hand it up the middle, running with the football is Brown, and he'll get it shy of the first down to the 28. Goes the running back, Dante Edwards, a sophomore out of Mobile, Alabama. It's like a punting unit comes out. Are they going to go for it here? Trailing 14-0. No way. <laughs> no way. Yeah, here comes the punter. So Thanks. four possessions. I tell you, I, I, I thought for a minute he might give it a shot. I mean, Coach Rowe, but, you know, you this is almost like a panic move if you do that right now. And your players since then, your players will say, hey, golly, we're in that big trouble. we got to go for it, and it's only 14 nothing in the first quarter. Bears have been so good in the first quarter all year. Low snap, one, and a kick goes straight up in the air. Going backwards when it hits. <laughs> it is. Good call. That's going to be about a five-yard punt, guys. Five-yard punt. It went straight up in the air and rolled back. My gracious, at the 40, 34-yard you're, you're line. You're right. It's dead on exactly five yards. <laughs> wow. I'm telling you, he's, he's trying to kick the ball. He really is. He's trying to kick it to keep it away from our return people. And, and you know, he just hadn't had any success doing it. I watched him warming up, and, boy, he really kicked the ball well during warm-up. Average 35 yards a punt coming into this game. Come to Bears offense and see if they try to go up on top here and with a little quick strike action, yeah, 34. This, we've, we've been known to do that in this situation. We get in a tight formation, too. This could be where we do throw it. Here we go. Play action. Willingham under pressure. He's going to go down. No, nah, he took too long. Yep, indeed. He'll be sacked at the 44. Good play by Miles' defense. Sacking Grayson Willingham. Only the eighth time he's gone down this year. So it's going to be a loss of about eight on the play. Second and long now. 6.06 to go in the first. Lenore Ryan on top here. 14 nothing. Yeah, we got in a formation that looked like run all the way. We had everybody in tight and then tried to do the play action thing, and, and, and Grayson had a chance to throw it, and then he didn't because the receiver was covered, and once he brought that ball back down, it was pretty much over then. Bears have two tight ends in there. Again, wing T look. Mitchell goes in motion. Willingham out of the shotgun. Play action. Steps up in the pocket. Plenty of time. Man is wide open. Incomplete. He was looking over there for Ryan Carter, shy the first down, but he was open. He just threw it high. He would have caught that ball and turned around and run for another 10 or 15 yards if had the ball been thrown properly. But and that, again, that could be a wet ball right there. The ball just did it, it just sailed high. Right now, there's no rain. Uh, right now, the conditions are ideal as far as a wet field. Uh, I haven't seen anybody slip on this field. The turf is great. Yeah, indeed. So Mitchell comes out here on third and long. They'll go with a couple of tight ends again. Will Neal and Starks is in there, tight end. They're going to run it this time. Straight ahead to the fullback, Stevens, and he's met at the line, thrown back. He'll get up to about the 41. Gain of three on the play, so the Bear offense stymied for the second time now here in this first quarter, leading 14-0. will come on to punt the football. Michael Owen steps out, the sophomore from Duluth, Georgia, one of the 15 players. Named all conference, both kickers for LR Jack, punter and kicker, and they should have been the Bears. Uh, the, the the punting game, although that we've had some games we only had to punt once or twice. Michael Owen's done a great job this year, and Holden Strong, the uh, the long snapper, has done a fantastic job. Another good snap and a kick by Owen. Fair catch called for inside the ten, and they filled it about the seven. So with the second possession now for Miles. Inside their own 10. So far, Miles' offense, not much doing here with five, just under five minutes to go in the first quarter. They had the ball four times and four punts. So the Bear defense has done its job. LR leading 14 nothing thanks to a uh, quick strike on their first possession. They scored, and then a blocked punt in the end zone. Made it 14 to nothing. Bears lead here. Here come the Golden Bears. Nine and two so far this year second playoff appearance 
quarterback, different quarterback in there this time, and he runs it to the left side, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds. Again, the new quarterback in is LeJohn Cordier, a senior out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Picks up four or five, second he's a, down. He's a backup senior. Both quarterbacks yeah. are seniors. And, and I thought we might see a change uh, because Daniel Smith just did not throw the ball very well uh, at all in, during his three series in there. So it's a good time to give your other quarterback a shot at it. They're both seniors. They'll both be graduating. So you're going to have a new quarterback next year regardless. So you're not going to hurt anybody's feelings. Cordier, this time they run the play to the right, and the ball is stripped fumble, loose, fumble. falls on the ground. Let's see who gets he it. Fell. He got back on it. He rolled over and ran, and the ball was laying right there. He got tackled and rolled as he lost the ball, and when he rolled over, the ball was right there, and he was just laying on top of it. Justin Ruiz, the junior running back out of Atlanta, got stripped. They fell on the football, as Jack mentioned. Now third and long now, third and 12 now for the Golden Bears. They're this going to be is, backed up at their own five. Yeah, this is probably not their passing quarterback. He's a backup, and statistically, he didn't throw the ball for near the yards that Smith did. Uh, so he comes in probably. He's more of a running quarterback. Let's see what they do here. They've lost 14 fumbles this year. They're going to run it. Quarterback keeper running right side up to the 10, way short of the first down as Cordier runs it. So for the fifth possession, it's three and out. For Miles College. They were not going to throw the football from that situation on the field. So, you know, the, the Bears have played great defense up to this point. Miles has played great defense except for the first possession. The Bears haven't been able to pick up a first down outside of the first possession when he took it right down the field. They got the other touchdown on the block kick. So the Bears probably look for them to come back probably more back to their offense. I think we got, you know, we – there was no doubt we would probably take a shot on that last one, but the sack cost us a lot of yards, and we couldn't overcome it. Fitch, this time with the kick, not very good. It's angled over here. That gets be, a nice roll. Be the best kick he's had yet. Though, yeah, it? gets a nice roll down to the 41, so that's where the Bear offense will get it on their side of the field at the 42. They mark it. Here comes the offense. L.R. and all black today. Miles in, uh, in the silver or gray with purple and gold on their helmets and socks. Nice contrast here this afternoon. Bears in all black with the white numerals, which I like. Easy to read. Uh, the bigger. Band is They're out. bigger, too. Yeah. yeah, much bigger. Band is out here today. Cheerleaders are out here. Nice crowd has uh, come out to the student get section. Over. Look yeah. at the student section down there. Brave Love the those conditions. students. Brave the conditions. Bears set up. Hand off Stevens right side. Puts his head down. Knocks a man over. Into Miles' territory goes the battering ram, the minibus. Nice run that time by Amin Stevens, all-conference running back. Leads the Bears with 554 yards and 12 scores. That time he looked like a battering ram, picked up nine. Great run and poor tackling again. Again, Stevens has it. He's into the secondary, running with the ball down to the 40. Call it a gain of nine, and another custom design group, Bears, first nine. Uh, Stevens is so good at that, Juju. He gets the ball headed toward the guard area, and we just wash everybody to the inside, and he just he just slips outside. There's another handoff running right. Mitchell, he'll get it back to the line of scrimmage, trying to go the shorthand side here on the short side in front of the LR bench, just outside the numbers, running right, and Mitchell was caught and stopped at the line of scrimmage, second and ten. The Bears have not been able to really force the ball outside on the jet sweep or anything outside. Our, our great runs, even though touchdown run, Mitchell cut back up inside and made that great touchdown run. So the Bears may have to keep it between the tackles. This time they run option left, Mitchell, and nothing. it looks like nothing over there. You're right. Miles coming up to stop it. Four guys around the football stopping Jaquay Mitchell. He got back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost one. It's going to be third and 11. Yeah, they're defensively, they have great speed in the secondary. Their linebackers can run. They play 4-3. They got three linebackers, and they really run to the football. We have not fooled them defensively. I see what Coach is talking about now. They stayed at home. The option fake didn't bother them. They, I tell you, they're right where they need to be. It's a good defensive team. Four-man rush, rolling right, Willingham throwing over here, pass is dropped. Incomplete. Shy the first down. It was intended for Lester over there at about the 31. It would have been about a yard or two short. That's going to bring up another punting situation as Michael Lone comes out to the field here. Yeah, that defensive team, I'll tell you what, that's pretty strong right there. 
you know, I thought maybe we weren't sharp the first uh, this last couple of series after the first one. But I tell you, since <laughs> since that first series, that defense right there is pretty stout. That that's as good a defensive effort for the what three series in a row now that we've seen. The it'd Bears be, are going to yeah, punt it. It'd be seven to nothing going into the quarter if, if we hadn't blocked that punt. So Owen steps into it near midfield. High kick. Another good one. Fair catch down near the 10. So for the third consecutive possession, Miles is going to take it at about the 10-yard line or inside their 10. It's going to be right at the 10 in between the two hash marks. We'll step aside with 107 to go in the third quarter. Or first quarter, it's Lenore Ryan. 14, and miles nothing. This is Bear football powered by Carolina West Wireless. For over 50. Dante Edwards tackled by Sherrod Williams. Game of four, second and six. Back here, Juju Phillips under pressure. The quarterback for Miles is sacked. Bears get their 41st sack of the season. Amari Houston in on the sack that time with a little help from his friends. His seventh sack of the season. That Bear front line, Houston, one of those all-conference performers. One of 15 for Lenore Ryan. It's going to bring up now third and 11. Ball's been placed at the nine-yard line for the Golden Bears in Miles College. Final play of the first quarter. Bears on top here, 14-7. I don't know if we'll get it off here. No, he's not going to. All right, so 14 nothing in favor of Lenore Ryan. Time to take another break. Stay with us. This is Bears football powered by Carolina West Wireless. It's on time. Any goal that I set for myself. We're up with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and sponsor Lenore Ryan Athletics. Come see us at Paramount Automotive for all your car buying needs. And remember, we sell tires, lots of tires. Go Bears. Back here, Juju Phillips, Jack Huss, Mike McCree. Thank you for listening. This is Lenore Ryan Playoff Football on WSVM Radio. Back to action as we start the second period. LR on top here, 14-0. Third and 11 now for Miles at the 9. They have the ball between the hash. Quarterback standing at his own 4. Cordier back to pass, looking left, throwing, incomplete. Receiver went one way, ball went the other. Fifth time today, Miles, three plays, and here comes a punt. Daniel Smith is one of six today, and uh, Cordier, now that's his first throw, so he's 0 of 1. They, they're 1 for 7 in the passing department, and that was a short four-yard gain they threw to the little flat out there. But, you know, they've been stifled offensively, but on the other hand, their defense has been magnificent against the Bears. After that opening salvo, when the Bears came down and scored in three plays, the, we had a nice run by Mean Stevens. But our little, our, our option play, our fake, uh, f- you know, p- play action run, all of those things, none of those plays have worked against this defense. I don't think you've ever used the word salvo. Right, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to improve a little bit, you know, on my vocabulary. So there was a uh, punt. Short punt, Bears field it, fair catch by Mitchell at the 40. So LR with again. They played the field position game, and it's been tilting in LR's favor. Bears on top, 14 nothing to have it now at their own 40. I think we ran one play in that quarter. He punted the ball down to about the 42 in the first play. We had a nice run yeah. back over the field. I think that was the only play we ran that was not in the uh, Miles territory uh, since the game began. Miles has about 20 yards of offense. Bears come under center this time. They shift. Ball's between the hash marks, center of the field. They run left. This is Young. Gets a nice block around the corner. 30, 25, 20. Spins down close to the 15. Boy, he used his blockers. Tippy toe down the sidelines on the LR side and picked up about a 15-yard carry. Yeah, that was the first time we really sealed that off. We blocked everybody. We did everything on the jet sweep we're supposed to do, and we can run that play from a bunch of different formations. And that really helps when we can we can show you that play from five or six different looks. 
that time we were able to block everybody, turn it up, and and I tell you, Ryan Carter's become a pretty good pretty good ball carrier for the Bears. First and ten, turns, hands it off, Stevens running left, and he gets inside the ten, puts his head down, pushed out at about the eight. I mean, Stevens picked up about eight yards on the play, second and short now for the Bears, as Stevens, that all-conference running back, sophomore out of Savannah, Georgia, picks up eight, second and short, Bears quickly under center. Willingham, Stevens stays in there. Wing T, look, they look to the sidelines, two tight ends are in, Ramsor and Neal. Ball's on the left hash. Willingham about to take the snap from Jefferson. Second and one, handoff, Stevens left side. He should get the first down to the six yard line. First down, close enough for a custom design group measurement perhaps. No, I believe you got it. Okay. No, they're calling fourth down, aren't they? Yeah, they gave him first down. Yeah, they, they're just dropping the chains. They don't have to move him because it's inside the 10 now. Mean Stevens over 50 yards so far in this first, first half of rushing. 10 carries, or 7 carries, 52 yards. I mean Stevens to the left. They run the motion left, play action, rolling right. Willingham open, caught, touchdown. Play action and the rollout. They hit Josh Ramsour. His Coach. first Lenore Ryan touchdown. Hey. Coach with a wrinkle there, you know that. Hey, Coach always got a wrinkle. Okay, we, we lined up in there, and everything about that said Amin Stevens running to the left. He faked it, naked bootleg. Josh Ramsford slipped out in the flat, and Grayson Willingham just tossed it to him for the easy touchdown. What a great play call. Coach always has a wrinkle for him, something they haven't seen. 23rd touchdown pass for Willingham. Ramsor, the graduate transfer from Elon. Newton Conover High School gets his first LR touchdown. And Elbaugh just splits the sticks. Bears go 40 yards in four plays. Take the lead again. It's Lenore Ryan, 21. And Miles College, nothing. You're listening to LR Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. It's Nick at Paramount Automotive, and we're proud to sponsor Lenore Ryan Football. Go Bears! Come see us on Highway 70. We've got a huge inventory of new Volkswagens, Volvos, Porsches, Hyundais, and Kias. Plus, did you know we sell tires, and we'll be any competitor's price on tires every day. If you're thinking about selling your car, we'll buy your car, truck, or SUV, even if you don't buy a car from us. So during those timeouts, check our inventory at ParamountAuto.com and score a touchdown at Paramount Automotive. Boy, that was a hard hit. When the Bears get banged up, they go to Richard Williams, official team chiropractor for the LR Bears, and he's the best choice for your family, too. Whether it's dealing with sports injuries, headaches, body pain, jaw disorders, carpal tunnel, and much more, Dr. Williams will individualize a program to meet your specific needs. So if anybody in your family needs chiropractic care, choose the best. Choose the man the LR Bears trust, Dr. Richard Williams in Hickory. More at richardwilliamschiropractic.com. We talked about Bear Nation. We're getting them young and old. Listening to us, there's a fumble on the kickoff. Balls rolling Bears around. got it. Bears have it. They're all over it. Man, that was just that was just devastating right there. So the Bears get the fumble recovery but right through the hands of the return man. Chad Crumbly, a freshman out of Burke County, Georgia. Gets the fumble recovery, second turnover of the day, and the Bears have it at about the 27-yard line. But hold your horses. I cannot, I don't have any idea what they're talking about. I don't know what these officials could, oh, look at this. There's a penalty. I don't see a flag. They're going to make them kick it again. They are, you're right. Inadvertent whistle. This is terrible. <laughs> That's a, you know what happened? I'll tell you exactly what happened. The guy signaled fair catch, and he ran over there to catch it. And his head, the ball came down, the guy blows the whistle. He didn't wait for him to catch it. He blew the whistle as the guy's catching it. And, and he didn't catch it. So he's calling an inadvertent whistle, and the only way out of it is to make him kick it again. You can't give us the ball. And, you know, they were already had the defense out there. You know, and we had the offense out there. This is really bad right here. 
We haven't seen this before. I not, not, I've seen her well, in well, and whistles, but well, not on a kickoff. Well, I've, I've, I've seen it before, and I've seen it in basketball. I officiated basketball a few years. And, well, we would have it sometimes in those situations. and But not in this th- situation. Yeah, there's just not anything. I mean, they're stuck. But the thing about it, you know, I don't know who heard the whistle. When they never signaled, did you notice? And that scared me. Nobody signaled it was our ball. Not a single official signaled. They all huddled, and nobody was pointing our way, and everybody knew we had the ball. And all of a sudden, you know, it was just a bad situation to start with. But, hey, it is what it is. First, fortunately, the Bears lead here 21 nothing. on top here. So we'll kick it again, Elba, and see if he goes to the same guy. He does. Hey, He'll kick it over hey, here, another fair catch. catch it this time. He'll yeah, catch it, it this time. Backs up to his 25-yard line. A little extracurricular over there. Separate the players. Here come the Bear defense. They've been perfect so far. Has uh, Miles picked up a first down yet? Maybe no, no. first downs for Miles they here. Need to, they, our guys need to get out of there. And the last thing we need now is guys on special team picking a fight. You know, get out of there. They're done. They're out of there. Yeah, that just. So the Bears defense, which has not yielded a first down to Miles College, who came into this game averaging 31 points a game and about 360 yards of offense. But the thing that jumped out at me as I looked at the stats, they lost 15 fumbles this year coming into this game. Here comes an option right, quarterback, no running room. Bears snuff it out. Clayton Horn was right there to make a play, and the guy ducked him, and as he ducked him, Jaquan Artis was right behind him. He never had a prayer. Clayton Horn went over the top of him, and Jaquan Artis just got, got him from behind almost immediately when he turned. The Bears defense just, they look so quick today. You know, uh, they're just moving around out there. Everything that Miles has tried to do, they're unable to throw the ball successfully, and, of course, they'll complete this one now when they say that, but they can't throw the ball successfully, and, and you know, they're we're just swarming everything on defense they try to run. Dante Edwards tries to run it up the middle and he gains no yardage. You get back to the line of scrimmage, call it a third and ten now. That front four for the Bears, Quinton Hayes, Dan Luba, Mari Houston, Jaquan Artis, making all the stops right now for the Bears. Uh, in, up front, as you mentioned, Clayton Horn and Sherrod Williams and linebacker Rossers in there along with Landon Scott, Malik Taylor, Eric Jackson. Good play over there by Javoris Smith. Checking in is Robinson. He'll be at the right end. Bears bring pressure. A six up, incomplete. Quick slant across the middle. Malik Taylor on the coverage that time of Leonard Tyree. It's over the seventh time here in the first half. It's three plays and out for Miles, and they're going to punt the football. They yet do not have a first down. Uh, Amari Houston was all over him very, very quickly there. Quarterback, they don't have time to really stand and throw the ball in the pocket. they got to get rid of it, and their receivers are trying to run routes 10, 12 yards down the field without looking. They better be looking quickly because that ball's coming out of that quarterback's hand. Jay Fitch will punt it for the seventh time in the first half. Mitchell standing back at his own 40. Fitch standing at his 10. Gets the snap. Ball is away. And over kick, end. But it might turn out good. And nope. it just dies right there near midfield. 49-yard line. That's where the LR offense will get it. They've had field position the entire first half. LR leads this NCAA Division II playoff game 21 to nothing. Let's check some scores now. Games from uh, started earlier this afternoon. West Florida leading Wingate at last report. Bowie State on tarp, top of Carson Newman. Those games started at 1 o'clock. Yeah, that West Florida game is 17-3 to at half in favor of West Florida. Carson Newman is still showing 9-7. to They haven't updated that game since halftime. So the Bears have it here, 49-yard line. Grayson Willingham out of the shotgun. This time he goes under center. Steps in, wing T look. Drops the snap, falls on the football. At the 48, loss of one, second down. That's one of the rare times all year in the 12 games we watched the Bears this year. They dropped the snap from center. We saw it a lot way back early last year, Jack, on this new offense, but haven't seen it a lot lately. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a, a rare sight. Yeah, that's a different center in there now. That's Oh, no, that's Blake Jefferson. I'm sorry. Blake Jefferson's in there. Yeah, he was the starter at center. I forgot he's 54. Tay Beaver was in, checks out, back in is Stevens at fullback. Mitchell goes in motion, receivers to both sides. Play action, Willingham, here's a screen pass over incomplete. It was under all kind of pressure. 
He was hit by two men intended for Stevens, but the ball fell incomplete. He threw it over his head. He just had to get rid of it. It's going to bring up third and 11. And I'll tell you, that, that defense, <laughs> they, they brought a corner blitz. I'm, they, they had the that perfect defense, play call. I'll tell you, they are – they get after it now. That defense has – there has been no let up in that defense since the opening whistle. We've had two drives and both of them short distances, and uh, we hit a play on each one of them to make it work. They show pressure again. Bears just run a toss sweep, running left. Mitchell follows his blockers, cuts, spins. He should have close it. Close to the first down. Let's see where the spot is. He's got it. First down, Bears. He got they it. They convert on a third and 11. Quay Mitchell gains 12. That's good enough. And again, a play we haven't seen. First yeah, quick that was toss. a little. It was kind of like a somewhere between a toss sweep and a, and a, and a quick pitch, and, and it worked perfectly. We had guys out in front, and Jaquay Mitchell does what he always does. He cut back to pick up the first. If he runs out of bounds, we don't get the first down. The custom design group, 12-yard first down for the Bears, 40 now of miles. Clock running, 10:45. The rain is picked up again. Bears on top here. They run option left. Mitchell. Trying to cut back, he goes down, loss on the play, back to the 44. Then that play snuffed out. Right, we can't, we cannot fool them. I tell you, the only play we fooled them with was that the bootleg down on the goal line. And you know, we, it worked so well with the receiver, but there were three people on Grayson Willingham when he threw that ball. He could not have run for a yard. He would have lost yardage if it, if it had been a run. So, you know, that this defense is impressive. I'll tell you that right now. Second and long now for the Bears. We need to pick up about seven or eight, get it back. We could, I don't know if we're in four down territory now. If the rain's starting to pick back up, you never know how, that, how that'll affect the ball. But if we can get back within, you know, seven or eight yards with two downs, we might have a shot. Here's a run. Carter sweeping right, far side. Flag. And he's still running inside the 40 down to the 38. We'll see the flag. Did I see a flag about. come flying in Either there? that or a towel. I wasn't sure. Okay, it must be. I don't see the official. I saw something as well. Yeah. Something looked like it flew through the air down there. But they got about got it down to about, uh, what, third and eight, third and eight, seven, third and seven. Yeah. So it was an eight-yard. It was a seven-yard pickup. Third and seven now. Ball's at the 37. Bears need to get down to the 30. Ball's on the far right hash. He had Ryan Carter open last time if he Back can to hit pass, him. cross the middle. Mitchell's no. nearly spin out of there. Took the reception, tried to spin away from the tackler and got tripped up inside the first down to the 33-yard line. It's going to bring up fourth and three. Looks like the Bears this time will go for it. They send in Young well, and Ramsor along with Lester. That's a terrible spot. There go. Oh, wow, yeah. He, he was almost a yard and a half, two yards ahead when he fell where that ball is marked. Crowd's letting them know as well. I don't think, I really don't think that would change Coach's mind right here. I think Coach Connick would go for it either way. You know, as long as it wasn't fourth and eight, nine, something. Got one-on-one -on -one out here. Fourth and four. Bears call timeout. Bears on top here. 21-0. We'll keep it here. 8.45 to go. Thanks for listening to Lenore Ryan Football. We'll take a station identification. Your score, Lenore Ryan, 21. And Miles College, nothing. You're listening to Bear Football, powered by... Carolina West Wireless. D2 baseball gave me an opportunity to play at a high level and to get a couple of scores now. Blowing Rock Brewery scoreboard. West Florida now leading Wingate 24 3. Big surprise that game being played down at Wingate. Yeah, I don't know if the conditions down there are bad, you know, because that is a, uh, that, that's a, a regular field, grass field. Bears go for it. They're going to run an option. There's all kind of space. Mitchell at the 35-30. Stiff arm down to the 25. They ran a lead option over here in front of the LR bench. Picked up nine. Goes to the, the key playmaker for the Bears this season. Jaquay Mitchell, the all-conference running back, gets the first down. And that play, we had run it before, and they had people out there. This time, the defensive back was there. Jaquay Mitchell made a little juke move in and out and got to the outside and outran him for the first down. And again, just what Jaquay Mitchell has done all year. I mean, he just makes plays for the Bears, just like Sherrod Williams has on defense. This time they give it to Stevens, takes it up the middle between the two hashes, head down, dives forward and down to the 16, close to another. Bear first down, I mean Stevens. They do get it. 10 yards and another custom design group first down. Bears quickly. Ball on the left hash, under center Willingham. 
turn, hands it off. Stevens running right again, drives forward down inside the 15. So the old thing is, Jack, sometimes when you have these quick defenses, instead of running wide, you just run right at them and it works. I agree. Uh, we Inside from tackle to tackle, we've had more success. Now, we have not given it up getting it outside, and we have gotten it outside. And I noticed uh, 84 is in there. He's been in there several plays now. Dom Maggio. Yeah, he, he's one of four tight ends the Bears have yeah, they, used the coach, this year. The coach loves to use the tight ends now. He uses them a lot of situations. They move some guys around. Brooks goes to the right-hand side. they got two tight ends in there now. One running back, handoff Stevens, and he's met on second and about six right at the line of scrimmage. He may gain a yard. He gets it back to the center of the field. It's third down and six, 720. Rolling clock before halftime. LR leading 21 nothing here. Jumped on top of Miles early on and have led throughout here the first half. And the conditions may get worse in the second half. We don't know, but I think this is a big drive for the Bears to get up 28 to nothing. And then if the conditions get bad, anytime it's bad and you're behind by four scores, it makes it tough to try to catch up. Here comes Willingham under center. Bears overloaded left. They run left. This is Young trying to sweep left. Breaks a tackle inside the 10. Down to about the eight. He's going to be shy of the first down. They're going to mark it at the nine. It's going to bring up fourth and about two. Well, this is an interesting situation now. Do you go field goal? Yep. They're going to send out the field goal unit. Alba and Owen will be the holder. Holden Strawn will be the long snapper. And Chase Alba, all conference kicker. And say, here's where the Bears, the Bears are shorter, man. There he comes. So, you know, sometimes when you have to put personnel in there, I don't know if these are the same guys that played there all the time during the regular season or not, but you have to be aware of that. It'll be a 27 yard kick from the left hash. Opened in here at Moret State, and their guy was offside. Bears fake it. Owen looking right. Looking, throw it, throw it he's away. trying to throw it in the end zone. And a flag down the last second. Was that guy Michael not offside? He was, so it's going to be. Oh, yeah, ain't no question about yeah. that. He was at least five <laughs> yards offside. So there's a flag in the end zone as well. I'm not sure. Is that sure. pass interference? Yeah. Or an illegal man downfield? <laughs> I thought, there's no telling. It's a mess. <laughs> there's no hey, telling. Hey, I'm going to tell you one thing. That some of the most exciting plays in the world are fake extra points. Especially, and that wasn't a fake on purpose. That's why you don't know what's going to happen. This, uh, now, the only bad thing is it could be offsetting penalties. If it's offsetting penalties. You get to do it again. Well, no, what should have happened there instead, I was saying throw the ball. He should not have thrown the ball. You know, there would have been no, no flag. There wouldn't have been anybody downfield if he had just run with the ball. But he didn't know that. That's a, Now, see, that's a coaching point you'll find out about next year. They'll go over that in their, their special, special teams meetings. See what the penalty is. Two fouls. Offside against Miles. And it eligible downfield. No, they're both against Miles. Holding against Miles. So automatic first down for the Bears. Holy crap. <laughs> you said there was no telling. Well, I thought it I, I felt like it probably, but you know, you, you coach your lineman anytime there's a fa I'm not a fake, but anytime there's a fumble snap and you're gonna do that. You tell your lineman, just stay there and block at the line of scrimmage. Don't leave. Don't go downfield because this may that may happen. The first, Bears get a big break right there. First and goal makes up for that one bad call early well, on the, the kickoff. Well, the offsides would have put the ball the same place yeah. they are now anyway. Half the distance to the goal. Makes up for that in inadvertent whistle. Yep. Bears have it first and goal. Ball's at the four in the center of the football field. Fumbled snap. Willingham falls on it. I the second who, time here, the first half, that's happened. I'll tell you who it won't make up for is that the official that blew that in for I can tell you that. Fans just tuning in. Bears lead 21-0. We're down to the final six minutes of the first half. LR jumped out early in this game. And Miles College, their opponent this afternoon, they have about 20 yards of offense and no first downs here in the first half against that very sturdy, staunch Lenore Ryan black rain defense. Second down. Ball's at the six. Call a loss of two now. Still in the center of the field. Grayson under center. Turns, hands it off. Mitchell running left. Met at the line of scrimmage and is knocked down quickly. So bringing up third and goal now. No gain. Third and goal for the Bears. Trying to run and score touchdown. Going to the opened end here at Moret Stadium. In front of the scoreboard. Winga trailing big time to West Florida. Both Even teams more big time. It's 31-3. Wow. Wingate 
coming in 16th ranked in the nation. West Florida was 20th ranked. And on the road, winning big. Back to pass. Grayson throws across the middle. Intercepted by the big defensive lineman. He threw right into the hands of either a lineman or a linebacker. That is number 54, DeAndre McCurry. I believe the junior from Birmingham defensive lineman gets the interception. Wow, there's a quick turnaround for the defense. The guy, he Miles. Was, the, guys he was, the guy he was throwing the ball to was right behind him. Uh, you know, he was trying. He was just going to lob it over that guy's head, and he just didn't get it over his head. The guy, you, you could see it clearly. The guy was wide open behind him. It was one of the tight ends sort of dragging across, and he just didn't get the ball over the guy's head to get it to him. This time a play, and it's fumbled back there and hit hard. The Bears knock him down. That's Robinson and Houston. Yeah, a great play. Great play in this backfield. Back to about the three. Yeah, the Bears The Bears need to get a quick. They, flag they, down. Yeah. See what the flag is about here. Well, the flag's way out wide out there, so there's no telling what it is. But, you know, the Bears need to get a quick stop right here because they, they, they have they have dominated this game only to be up 21 to nothing uh, would really not be good for the Bears. It is against Miles, half the distance. Wide receiver offside. I believe they're back with the, their starting the ball back quarterback. Where, well, they got to put the ball backwards. See, they penalized them anyway. Third quarterback in there now for Miles, number 16, Trayvon Grant. Yeah, they, we refuse a penalty. It's supposed to be second down. Bears nearly have a safety. They might get it. Nope, no. they're going to get out to the one-yard line. As the running back bedtime, Dante Edwards met in the backfield. we got a real foul up now. He declined that penalty. The, the referee said decline, and they penalized it anyway and put it first down. <laughs> I don't understand that. Did you not see him do that? He came out and gave the decline sign. So it's, if you're listening to us on the radio and watching the stream, we're a little bit behind. I'm watching it here. And, <laughs> and you, you, maybe you'll be able to see it when that plays over. But the he, scoreboard he says, says decline. Yeah, third, scoreboard says third down. The chains say second. Now they're getting together. See, now they've got to, they've got to come back and figure this thing out. They screwed up about two plays ago. And now I don't think there's a heck of a lot they can do about it. So new quarterback in, Trayvon Grant for Miles. Look at here, look. He waved it off, he said it was declined. And then they went ahead and penalized. See, it should have been first down at the six. So it is third they down. They moved it back to the three. So the chain gang over there. No, it's second down. Nope. Yeah, the first play they ran after the penalty was where we almost tackled a guy in the end zone. Still says third down up there. Coach Cronick said, it, it, but it, they didn't count the first down. He declined the penalty, but they did not. They marked the penalty off and kept it at first down over there. It's another foul up by the officials here. You know, that, that's that's communication there. Bears on top, 21-0. They sorted out. West Florida leading wing at 31-3. And Bowie State leading Carson Newman. Still 9-7. 9-7 in the first half. And that, that had to be a... Um, safety because it remember it was 7-7 seven, seven. yeah Ooh, Carson Newman 17 Bowie 9 it's in the fourth quarter so they operate out of their own end zone and here's a safety this time the Bears tackle him down Preston Joseph tackles him along with Robinson in the second or in the uh, in the end zone and the Bears get a safety Great job by the Bear defense. Wow. I, you know, Miles, as good as they have been on defense, they're just that bad on offense right now. <laughs> I mean, it's been a struggle. It really has. No and, first and, downs. You know, their defense, their defense has played marvelous. I mean, uh, you know, we we've got we got two touchdowns against them, and we had to work like the Dickens to earn both of those. We've had it down there in their territory the entire game and only have uh, two touchdowns. Now we've got defense has scored nine. Uh, well, let's give defense nine of the 23 points and the offense too. So, you know, great ball game by the Miles defense. But boy, their offense right now is inept to say the least. By 15 total yards of offense and no first downs in the first half with four minutes and seven seconds left. Bears get a safety lead here 23 to nothing. So, again, 
some scoring updates. Let me give them to you right here. Go ahead. I, I'm, I'm trying to write them down as fast as I can. All right, Shepard, uh, uh, Indiana trails Shepard 31-27. All right, uh, cuts down 33, Tiffin 31, Westchester behind. Notre Dame leads 31-24. Carson Newman leads in the fourth quarter 17-9. And in the fourth quarter, West Florida all over Wingate 31-3. And that's a real shock. That means West Florida will go to play uh, Valdosta next week. Com- conference opponents. Yeah, they rematch. They well, close it, game the first time they played. Well, and if it stays the way it is right now, Carson Newman would come here. Yeah. So it would be it would be a, uh, the Gulf South Conference with two teams playing each other and the South Atlantic Conference with two teams playing each other. Which is, I think, exactly what, what they, they would want. Yeah. yeah. So here come after the safety. Miles will kick off at their own 20. High kick. Mitchell will field it at his own 25. Running right across the 40, up near midfield, knocked down at about the 49. So Jaquay Mitchell gets a 24-yard return in the Bear offense, which has been operating all on this side of the field or at near midfield, gets another shot with four minutes left, leading here 23-0. Defensive tackle, DeAndre McCurry, who's made a cut. The play right before the interception down there, Juju, he's the one that made that tackle uh, back there too. I, I, that defense... They don't have a lot of big guys. They're, they're, they're number 49, the defensive tackles, uh, uh, Kadarius Roberts, he's 275. The rest of their defensive linemen are 250 or under. They're a little like us. They're smaller, but they're quicker. And I tell you, they've been hard to block. Stevens running right, has a hole, breaks the tackle, first down, and into the secondary, down to the 35, goes Amin Stevens. They'll mark it to the 31, so call it about a 20-yard pickup for the Bears. Sophomore, fullback, all-conference performer. Balls it now back up to the 31, marking on the right hash. Bears under center. Yeah, they gave him the old, we're running left. No, we're going to the right. Mitchell has it, follows his blockers. 20, 15, down to the 10, sidesteps a couple of men. He'll take it inside the 10, down to the 6, goes to Quay Mitchell. Back-to-back runs, and the Bears have it first and goal. I tell you, he's an excellent back. He does so many different things well for the Bears. He catches the football. He runs the football. He's not a great blocker because he's not very big, but he's an adequate blocker. And the Bears just utilize his talent so well. And following all-conference performer Jason Poe over there. Do it again. When you have the football, you run right, guys. And behind your all-conference and uh, Jacobs blocking trophy lineman, Jason Poe, they did it three times. And the Bears have it now second and goal at the three-yard line. Amin Stevens, two carries now. He's back in there. They turn it, hand it to him again. He's Nothing. met Stonewall right at the line of scrimmage. Well, I mean, he didn't even uh, – that was a domination I mean, right there on that area, side. And, you know, you're talking about Jason Poe and Ian Clifton right beside him. He's kind of unsung. Been in there every game. He and Pove started every game in the same two positions, giving the Bears some stability in the offensive line. And Big 73's got a pretty good-sized cast on one hand, I just noticed. First time I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, and uh, Ronnie Clifton is all-conference performer. He's over there on the right tackle, replacing Brinson. Yeah, that's Clifton. Jason That's Pope. right, 73. Quick drop pass, tip incomplete. Trying to get it over here to Derek Young on a quick pass, but they got a hand up and tipped it away. Fourth and goal now for the Bears. Got to go field goal again. I'll tell you, this defense is just marvelous. I, I hate to keep praising them, but to be down like they're down and to have an offense that can't pick up a first down, and you just come out there and play your butt off, and they gave up a couple of runs to get the ball back down here. Then the next thing you know, they're, they're make, forcing us to kick a field goal. Great defensive effort. Al Bob will line it up now. Don't Take the snap at the 12. It'll be a 22-yard kick. Don't get off sides. Fourth and goal. Snaps good. Holds good. Kick is high enough, and it is good. Splits the sticks. The Does Jace Elba and the Bears tack on three more. Your score, it's Lenore Ryan, 26, and Miles nothing. Back in the flash, you're listening to LR Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. Quality work that's on time. And- Being a champion. That's Blowing Rock Draft House and Brewery is walking distance from Lenore Rhine's campus at the intersection of Highland Avenue and Lenore Rhine Boulevard in our newly renovated Holler Mill location. Honor the craft with a toast to our bears at Blowing Rock Draft House and Brewery. And go Bears! Bears lead here now 26-0. We have some scouts 
out there watching that Winget game for us, Jack. And they're saying right now it is heavily raining down there at Winget, and the quarterback for the Bulldogs, Shaw Crocker, really struggling in the rain with turnovers. Yeah, One reason why they're trailing 31-3, to thanks to Paul Bullock for that update. Well, I was going to say the, the reason I, when the score's popping up that quick, you almost know automatically it's turnovers. They, they could have returned a couple of those for touchdowns, you know, a couple of interceptions and run them back because that this score turned over real quick on the computer, and it normally doesn't do that. It's normally slow to react. First and ten now. Miles looking for their first first down here in the first half. 2.21 to go. They got another quarterback in there, number 10 back in. He'll turn and hand it off, running his Edwards, trying to cut the corner. And Landon Scott, horse collars him, wrestles him down over the 30, up to about the 33. You're right, Mike McCree, eight-yard pickup. Best offensive play of the first half for Miles. Second down and short. Boy, I tell you, Coach Cole didn't like that either. He, he, he took, he took Landon Scott over here real quick, talking to him. Put P.J. Palmer in there. Second and short now. This time they hand it off to Edwards. He gets the first down. There you go. And the Bears meet him as Luba. And that One minute line. forty-nine seconds to go. Mark that down. Indeed. Again, a little bit of a cheer there. First first down of the football game for Miles. Dante Edwards picks it up, and he has to go off the field. His helmet popped off, and I can see why. His hair goes all the way down to his, uh, his backside. 21 yards rushing, 4 yards passing, 25 yards total offense right now. Wow. First and 10 now for Miles. Ball's at the 37. Hand off again. Running left on the stretch play. First down again. Running out of bounds. Stepping out is Justin Ruiz. The junior out of Atlanta picks well, up another first down, and all of a sudden, Miles into LR territory at the 48. Yeah, and Eric Jackson in all-conference safety, he undercut that. He ran inside, and the guy just ran around him, and he was just standing there looking at air. When he got there, that's just uh, that, that's poor defense. I think the Bears are a little lackadaisical right here. Here comes another run. Yeah, that's more like football we've seen today. Yep, you Dante know, so, Edwards. Well, you know, you're up 26 to nothing. You pretty much dominated. You know, you think, okay, we're just going to kind of cruise on in here and see what happens. And all of a sudden, then they're not going to throw the ball. They've, they've not been able to throw it successfully. They're going to run the football and, and you know, kind of took the Bears, I think, a little bit surprised because the defensive backs especially were laying back a little bit, giving them a little room. LeJohn Cordier out of Louisiana, the quarterback now, third quarterback for Miles. They run the stretch play running right. Not much running room on second and nine. Bears stuff him. Dan Luba. Luba on the tackle, gain of one, third and eight. Player getting up slow, one of the offensive linemen for the Golden Bears. Meeting the Bears this afternoon. Right guard or right tackle, number 76, is up. He's going to stay in there. You know, the Bears will lose off this front. They'll lose Shaquan Artis. But just about everybody back, including a lot of those backups, got a lot of playing time behind them. I don't know if we have anybody as good as Shaquan Artis to, kind of, to take his place, but defensively in that front four the Bears should be pretty good next year back to pass Cordier scrambling he's going to get sacked goes down Horn along with Hayes twin H's for the Bears timeout Lenore Ryan they get their second sack of the first half and the Bears will force again their eighth punt coming up for Miles College here in the first half I'm not sure I've seen eight punts in one half in a college football game you know, it's <laughs> no. Wow, it, it's it's interesting too, Juju, that uh, the Bears call timeout with 16 seconds to go. I'm not sure unless we're going to go for the block. Not sure we'll have time to do much. I didn't realize the clock had gotten down that far, but they did. They weren't going to stop it anymore. Shame you on know. me. This is going to be their ninth punt. Thanks, Mike. Hey, we blocked one earlier. Let's see if we can block one again. 28 yards of total offense. 16, uh, 12 yards rushing, four yards passing is what we're showing long. Stat. Let me update that because this computer's not updating automatically. I'm having to manually do that. Well, 47 yard line is the place. Bears on top, 26 nothing. Final 15 seconds. Of Bears the first have 100, half. 181 yards rushing, 22 passing for 203. Bears don't have a ton of offense compared to what we're seeing. Although we do have 181 rushing, but you know this. This defensive team probably has played as, as well as anybody against us. Well, if we have 181 yards rushing, it's double what they usually give up. Yeah, exactly. More than that. You're right. Yeah. 85, I think. Fitz will kick it away. 
Ninth punt of the first half, and it's going to just take a roll. I think LR tried to go for the block, and it's going to roll out of bounds inside the 20 with six seconds left. Six seconds in the first half. Bears are going to go to the break, leading in this first round NCAA Division II playoff game. And if things stand up, uh, Lenore Ryan will be back home Thanksgiving weekend for the second year in a row, hosting the winner between Carson Newman and Bowie. Right now it's a close game with... Carson Newman on the road, leading at Bowie, low-scoring game, 9-7 at last update. 17-9. Oh, no, Carson Newman, 17-9, fourth quarter. Yeah, Carson Newman came from, scored eight points somehow. Touchdown, two-point conversion. No, uh, scored ten points, excuse me. Oh, okay. Scored ten points. Bears take a knee, we'll go to the half, rain continues to fall, and the Bears are leading here. Halftime, your score, Lenore Ryan 26, and Miles College, nothing. Stay with us. We'll be back with our halftime show from Moret Stadium on the campus of Lenore Ryan University. Thanks for listening. Juju Phillips with Jack Huss and Mike McCree. All afternoon, here this afternoon, Bears football. This is Lenore Ryan football powered by Carolina West Wireless. Quality work that's on time. Tense that I'm doing. You got 44 players, and you got to think about okay, I got two kickers and a snapper, so you're up to 47. That only leaves you 11 players to fill in the rest of your spots. Now, the Bears are only only dressing two quarterbacks today, which was, uh, you know, something that surprised me a little bit because we know we've seen, we've seen it go through quarterbacks in the wishbone days. We've gone through three in one game. But, you know, we don't run Grayson Willingham and Gunner will run a little more, but we don't run the quarterback quite as much. And, and we could just get him in there if we got a lead and hand off and not run him or put him, make him susceptible to any hit where he might get hurt. Bears jumped out here early in the first two minutes of the ball game. Jaquay Mitchell on a 21-yard run. They followed that up in the first quarter midway through. Trey Luttrell at, fielded a ball and recovered a fumble in the end zone after a blocked punt. Made the score 14-0 in favor of the Bears. Tacked on another touchdown in the second quarter. Grayson Willingham found Josh Ramsor in a six-yard pass. Completing a four-play, 40-yard drive. Bears led 21-0. They added a safety by Travis Robinson in the second quarter and tacked on a field goal late by Chase Alba, 22 yarder. So 26 0 in favor of the Bears. We are at halftime. We'll step aside, come back with some first half stats. We'll look at the scores around the NCAA Division II playoffs and we'll take a look into Lenore Ryan history. We'll hear from one of the great Bears of the past, defensive back Michael Green, who's playing professional football these days in the Arena League. We'll hear his thoughts on what Lenore Ryan is doing and what he has been doing as well since he played here for the Bears as of 2013. So plenty to do here at halftime. Your score, Lenore Ryan 26 and Miles College nothing. You're listening to Bear Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. Pursue that within my career and to get a master's degree. If I wouldn't have had a baseball scholarship, there'd be no chance that I'm doing what Second round coming off the first round by... It was like, man, no no team has faced a triple option like us or Carson Newman. So it was like, if we get past Carson Newman, it's going to be an easy run. Because, no, hey, if you're not disciplined, you're not going to stop the triple option. And with the speed and just the discipline that we had on our offense, we knew that, you know, once we got past, if we can help them get past the second round, they're going to take us all the way. And they did. The coaching staff back then, it was a close-knit group in terms of the coaching staff as well as the players. What do you remember about that staff? Man, I remember everything. You know, Coach Houston, you know, it's like another father to me. You know, Coach Thompson, Coach Boyd. You know, Coach Boyd workouts was crazy, you know, but it got us in shape, you know, Coach Tess is just doing a great job with the D-line, you know, it's just from there on, you know, everything was great, it was just like, everything like, just came together that year for us. That is Michael Green, he talked about Jack, uh, he thought the Bears were going to make a run after they played Carson Newman in the second round of the playoffs, and hmm ha, six years later we may be doing that again. It's great to be back in that and have that opportunity. As I as I said earlier, you work all the time, you know, during the off season, during the preseason, during the season, working up to getting to this point. Now, what you do from this point on is really the 
the fairy tale part of the game because there's only uh, what out of the I can't tell you how many Division two teams are. You may know the exact number. One hundred and sixty-seven. One hundred and sixty-seven. <laughs> okay, and, and they took uh, four regions, seven each, so only twenty-eight made the playoff. And after this weekend, there'll be fourteen left. You know, so that that to, to advance beyond the first, the second, the third. Those rounds, I mean, it's just, it's, it's like gravy on the mashed potatoes, you know. It, it's, you love it, but you work so hard to get to this point. And, you know, there are teams, you know, we, we, we kind of like to align ourselves a little bit thinking about Northwest Missouri. They kind of get there every year, it seems, you know. And, and that's a team that, uh, you know, they go into it thinking about thinking beyond that. But the Bears had never thought really much beyond that since the uh, late 50s and early 60s until, you know, 13, 14 along in there when we started making a little, uh, uh, you know, making a little noise in the playoffs. And now we're back in the position to do the same thing. As we look at the playoffs, that was Michael Green, uh, uh, Bear All-American defensive back, uh, ex- outstanding punt returner, played for Lenore Ryan. Graduated in 2014, and uh, he's playing professional football in the Arena League right now and has been doing that for the last six years. Now, on the scoreboard, our Blowing Rock Brewery scoreboard, some upsets in the making. West Florida leading Winged Big 38-10, the game in the second half, fourth quarter. 20th ranked West Florida. Winged was ranked 16th, and they were on the road. Winged at home, losing by four touchdowns. Carson Newman leading Bowie State 17-9 in the fourth quarter. you have an update there, Jack? No, I, I keep punching it because <laughs> Carson Newman would be our next opponent or Bowie State will be our next opponent here if we can hang on to a 26-0 lead. And, you know, if Miles doesn't generate some offense, uh, me and you and Mike may be able to go down there and hold them on. Shepard on top, and they defeat uh, Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Shepard was 25th in the nation IUP was 18th, and they win at IUP 31-27. Kutztown leading Tiffin 33-31 at home. That's a final. It's a final score. Kutztown wins 17th rank, knocks off 19th rank Tiffin. Boy, that was an even matchup, and it mentioned in the scoreboard as well, 33-31 in favor of Kutztown. Notre Dame holds off Westchester at Notre Dame today, 31 31- 24 so 13th ranked Notre Dame College knocks off 22nd ranked Westchester to move on for the next round games are underway this afternoon at two o'clock Northwest Missouri as you mentioned Washita Baptist playing and Tarleton State ranked third in the country all those teams playing at home this afternoon here 26 nothing in favor of the Bears final stages of the first half we'll come back and set the stage for the kickoff of the second half. Once again, your score, Bears on top. The good guys lead 26-0 over Miles College. Back with more, this is LR Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless.
back here moments away from the start of the second half. Bears on top here. 26-0. Jack, you got some updates on the stats. We haven't mentioned them. Brought to you by Custom Design Group as Jack looks at the first half stats. Well, the stats are exactly what you would think they would be. Uh, the Bears dominated uh, from the standpoint of statistically 31 rushes, 182 yards for the Bears uh, of uh, Lenore Ryan. The Bears, the Golden Bears of Miles College, had 21 rushes for 34 yards. Uh, the Bears threw uh, completions for 22 yards. Not a great day passing for the Bears, although one touchdown. And uh, they, Miles completed one pass for four yards. And so the Bears, you know, they were one of eight throwing. The Bears were three of eight. So not a lot of passing in the game. The Bears, 204 total offense. Uh, total offense for Miles was 38 yards. Uh, they got one fir- two first downs, and both of those came late in the first half on runs when, again, the Bears were kind of sitting back waiting for some kind of a passing game, and it never materialized. Um, the Bears had 1632 of offense, and Miles had 1328. A little bit closer maybe in the time of possession than you would think. The Bears on third down, Juju, were one of eight. And, uh, of course, uh, on third down, Miles was zero of eight because both of their first downs came on uh, in two down, two running plays. So the Bears are going to get the ball to start the second half as Miles will kick off. They're kicking left to right to the gym side here at Moret Stadium. Again, uh, Miles, historically black school located in Birmingham, Alabama. And here's the kick. It's one of those pooch kicks. High kick. Bears are going to field it. Bell, Bell fumbles the football, falls on it at the 31. Warren Bell gets it. So the Bears have it. Thank you, Mike. First down and 10 for LR. Grayson Willingham will bring the offense out. He'll start a quarterback in the senior junior. 23 touchdowns this season, including one in the first half, completing 61% of his passes, up close to over 800 yard, 1,800 yards. Uh, they'll start with Amin Stevens, who had a fine first half, 82 yards on the ground for the Bears' sophomore fullback. Ryan Jefferson will start at center. Ronnie Clifton will be at, let's see, Clifton's out there, and he's going to start along with Heidinger Tate, up front for Tate, the Be- Tate Beaver's yeah. in there at fullback, too. Beaver will get the start the second half, and here comes Mitchell on the uh, left-hand side. Wow. Check that, Ryan Carter. He's re- sweeping left, and he is uh, hit hard pretty good. Pick up of a short yardage of two, second down and eight. Ball's placed at the 33. That's a great play by the defensive back, Mitchell Smiley. He's a linebacker, 5'11", 205. Their linebackers can really run. They got some folks back there that can fly. And and look like we were going to turn that ball up and make some yardage. The Bears have not been able to block them. And sometimes it's been because they've come from the backside. Number 24, the back then, the linebacker came all the way from the backside to make that play. Second and nine, gain of one. They shift left. Heidinger goes and shifts to the left. They send a man in motion. They run a play straight up the middle. This is the big fullback, Stevens, over the 40-yard line, spins forward, has the first down, 45, goes to mean Stevens, pick up of about 14, and the Bears get a custom design group first down to mean Stevens, up close to 100 yards on the ground. What the Bears offense does, it's based, based on the wing tee, and we give you one look. We gave them the jet sweep look and then ran a little counter trap back to the backside, and it popped for big yardage like there. That's what's so hard to defense, our, our offense. We give you so many different looks and strike the, we strike across a broad front in a lot of different ways. Three down linemen, they put about six in the box. They give it to Stevens again, tries to hop over a man and throw him backwards. He'll get it up to the 47, gain of two. Second and eight now, just underway, second half. Bears leading here 26-0. First round NCAA Division II playoff game. Bears are 6-4 and four in the playoffs since they began this decade. 2012, winningest private college or university Division II football this decade. How about that in the playoffs? As it should be. Play action, Willingham rolling right, out on the flat, incomplete. Oh. Had a man open over there. He was under some pressure and ended through the wide receiver, Derek Young, incomplete third and eight. Grayson has held on to the ball today a couple of times too long. He just, the, the number one, uh, Ryan Carter, was out there just from the very get go. He was in the, I mean, Derek Young, excuse me. He was in the flat, wide open, and, and Grayson kind of held the ball for a second, and then under pressure, he, he underthrew him, and he was, I mean, that was going to be good yardage right there if he just flips the ball to him. Normally, Grayson makes his decisions quicker. He's holding on the ball a little bit too long today. He needs to, needs to let it fly. Back to pass this time on third and eight, and he throws it out of bounds. Actually, it's caught by Mitchell, and he makes a move, and 
Knocked out of bounds side the first now. They're going to lose a yard. That's a complete flash for a yard loss. Yeah. yeah that so, was, inc- and it's I a complete. You, that Bears, the Bears offensively, outside, we've had a couple of good series where we took the ball. But other than that, the Bears haven't been very good offensively as they normally are. And that is closing drives. Again, we were at, at halftime, I think I told you we were one of eight. Now we're one of nine on third down conversions. Again, Miles came in with the 13th-ranked defense in the nation today. And, you know, Carson Newman or Bowie State, if we, whoever we would play next week, will look at this video and they'll say, hmm. But, you know, they don't have the players that Miles has either. They, they've got good defensive teams, I'm sure. We know Carson Newman's got a good football team. Here's but, the punt by Owen. Takes a roll out of bounds deep into Miles' territory at the 16. So but again, the, you know, offensively, you, you just the Bears just not have not been sharp. Like I said, Grayson's held on to the ball a little bit too long sometimes, and we have not been able to sustain blocks long enough for our ball carriers. Now we've popped some good plays, and and that's a good thing. But we have not finished. Normally, when we get the ball down inside the 20, we finish. Today, we have not been able to do that. Bears have been excellent in the red zone this year. 88 percent have scored one way or another. Here's a running play straight up the middle. Edwards will take the handoff from the quarterback, uh, Cordier, LeJohn Cordier, the senior out of New Orleans. Miles came into this game a little bit struggling on offense. They've used three quarterbacks already today, and Cordier has started as his second-team quarterback, and he'll start the second half, gain of two, second and eight. He'll come out of the shotgun. Edwards, the leading rusher, to his left. They got four receivers out, two to each side. Pumps. Fires, caught, complete to the 20, and ripped and tackled at the 24. This that, time is Antonio Evans, and he'll get shy the first down. It's going to be up third and short now for the Golden Bears. Ball's at the 24. They need to get to the 26. They had two receivers standing there almost within two yards of each other. Both of them ran the same route right together. Bears need to make a stop right here. They'll send the same formation. Two receivers to both sides. They're kind of stacked over there, twins left and right. Ball's on the left hash. Cordier gets the play from the sidelines and is in the shotgun, actually the pistol. He'll line up at his own 19. He got a back right behind him. That's Edwards. Cordier takes the snap. Across the middle. Dropped. They ran a quick slant across the middle. Went through the receivers. It may have been tipped at the line of scrimmage, but Tyree dropped the football. So it's going to bring up another punt. The 10th punt. Of this football game for Miles. Boy, right here, he would love to go for it, but he just can't do it. You know, that, and, and I'm a little shocked, to be honest with you. They had made some good yardage on first down running the ball. I thought we might see that big tailback just plowing straight ahead. He's, he's made a few yards running inside, but uh, no chance to make it, so they went to the pass, and uh, the guy dropped it. I mean, he just flat dropped it. So fourth down, the punter will stand back at his own eight. Oh, Fitch man, will kick it away. Big time. Line drive kick, take a nice roll for Miles, and the Bears will start at about the 32. Not the best field position. That's normally good field position, but the Bears have had the ball near midfield almost the entire football game. Leading here 26-0. They'll get their second possession of the for a second half. Again, Jefferson, Clifton, Poe, Brinson, Heidinger has been up there as well on the offensive line. I mean, Stevens is up close to 100 yards on the ground today, the sophomore all-conference running back from Savannah. We haven't, seen, we haven't seen Warren Bell very much in there today. He's in there Be- now. Yeah, he's in there now. <laughs> Beaver came in a while ago, and I think Beaver came in there to block on that little jet sweep we ran early on. Bears will have four receivers. They, got a, they, they line up a little, now they shift back the other way. Two tight ends in there now. They send a man in motion. They hand it to Young, sweeping left, cutting the corner. He is met and pushed out of bounds at the 35. Should get about a three-yard pickup that time. But Miles again coming over, a little jawing over there. Number 53 uh, making some noise. Cameron (laughs) Sneed, the defensive end, a freshman out of Macon, Georgia. Number 24, that defensive back we talked about a while ago. (laughs) He was giving the Bears a hard time over there. But I tell you what, he was blocked. And then he slipped off of it and got out there and made the play. That play looked like it was going to go for 15 yards at least. And, and all of a sudden, number 24, Mitchell Smiley, came from nowhere. This is a sophomore linebacker. They run up the middle, Stevens, and no running room for the Bears' sophomore fullback. He maybe get to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and seven now. Bears trying to get some offense going here, leading 26-0. Mitchell Smiley. 
We played five minutes of the third quarter. It's been raining off and on, raining now here at Moret Stadium. Crowd has thinned out a little bit here in the second half, but it's still trying to make some noise here. Yeah, third down and seven for the Bears. You know, it's just kind of been a strange game for the Bears offensively. We we had a couple of series we looked great on, but other than that, it's been a lot of three and outs, and this we're three for nine on third downs, or one for nine, excuse me. Going to run an option. Willingham will keep it, and he's fumbled the football, hit hard, knocked loose. And recovering the football is Miles. Their big turnover here this afternoon. Number 37, Braxton Harris, a junior defensive back out of Jasper, Alabama. Gets the fumble recovery after Willingham coughed it up on the keeper. Wow. I tell you what, that was he just got he just got hit and the ball came out. That's all there was to it. Yeah. That was a contact fumble. Uh, it wasn't uh, the weather didn't cause that. Now, I don't think it's really raining that much. It might be a light mist out there, but the We've been able to play the football game pretty much without the conditions having anything to do with the course of this football game. Cordier now the quarterback. Again, four receivers, two to each side. And the pistol takes the snap. Stretch play, running right as Edwards has a hole. 25, 20, he's going to go in. Five and touchdown. Dante Edwards on the stretch play, running right, cut back to the middle of the field and went untouched. 38 yards. And for the first time today, one play, 38 yards. And for the first time, Miles gets on the scoreboard. It's now 26-6 to with 9.36 to go in the third quarter. The Bears really got caught there. They had to go man-to-man in the secondary. They ran a double stunt. They, they stunted both linebackers inside against the run, and the run went a little outside. Then when he popped, there was nobody in the middle of the field because all the defensive backs – we're outside covering wide receivers and man-to-man, so it was an easy touchdown. Extra point is up and good. 26-7, Miles gets on the board. Take a timeout here in the second half. Bears lead. Your score, Lenore Ryan, 26, and Miles College, 7. This is LR Football, powered by Carolina West. Location. Honor the craft with a toast to our Bears at Blowing Rock Draft House and Brewery. And go Bears. Back here, Juju Phillips, Jack Huss. Let's see if it's a momentum change as Miles gets on the board. 26-7. They kick off, and the Bears call for a fair catch. Tate Beaver gets the fair catch, and the Bear offense will now get the ball at the 27-28 yard line here. See, they get some offense going, leading here 26-7, but again, not much doing in the second half for LR on offense. They'll come out, Grayson Willingham. Stays in at quarterback, and they'll have Starks in there, tight end. Mitchell and Beaver checks in at fullback now for the Bears. Two men in the backfield. Willingham under center. They hand it off tackle. This is Mitchell running left, cuts back, spins, gets over the 30, up to about the 32. Gain of five on the play. Jaquay Mitchell following the block of Tate Beaver. So just that, that was an old-fashioned wing T look. They had a fullback and a halfback there. Well, and, and the guy that makes the play is number 54. He's been all over the place. DeAndre McCurry, he's a junior, 6'1", 250 pounds. He reminds me of the defensive lineman like Amari Houston that we have in Dan Luba. He was in the backfield almost at the snap, and he hit Mitchell. Mitchell was able to make four yards with just great running. Stevens running with the ball, gets over the 35. Shy the first down, but it means Stevens going off tackle. Gain of three, third and two now for the Bears. They need to get up to the 38, actually third and, yeah, third and two. They mark it at the 36, third and long two for LR. Ball's on the right hash. Yeah, one of the things you don't want to do is let a team like this hang around. You know, we've been in control of this game pretty much the in, since the kickoff score-wise, but we've not been in control of this game on the football field. We need to take that control on the football field because their defense has started to do that. Quick pitch running left. Bears get the first down. Nice run by Cal Dickey, the freshman running back. With the quick pitch, second time we've seen that play today. And that's a custom design group. First down for LR to 44. Excellent play call. We got it outside quickly, but we didn't try to go wide quickly. He turned it back up inside. That's the difference on that play. When we run parallel on the jet sweep, you know, their defense just flows to the football with their great speed. They keep Dickey in there out of the shotgun. Two men in the back. They're going to run, roll right. Willingham dumps it over here to Dickey, and he dropped the football. I don't know if it was wet or not, but he tried to flip it out here to him out of the backfield, and Cal simply just lost the handle and complete second and ten. Yeah, we just have not been sharp in any, any, any shape at all in the passing game. We've, 
we've just looked very inept <laughs> throwing the football. I don't think it's the conditions, though, because that, that was just a little flip to about five yards or less. Uh, Dickey was running right in front of uh, but Grayson. The thing I did like was he saw the situation and tried to get him the ball quickly so he could run with it. Second and ten. Ball's on the left hash. They shift the offense. Wing T look. Sweep running left. Jet sweep. Young following his blockers. And bumped out of bounds near midfield. That's a gain of six. Going to bring up third and four now for the Bears. Nice block over there by the Bear tight end. You know, they've got two players that really stood out today. 54, we talked about, DeAndre McCurry. And number 24, Mitchell Smiley. They're around every play. 54, he plays. He lines up in there on the center. He's like a nose guard. But I tell you what, at the end of that play, where was he? At the sideline running the guy out of bounds. That guy, he's got a motor that runs all the time in there. Third down and four now for the Bears. 7.31 to go in the third. This time Willingham on the quarterback keep. They didn't make it. It's going to be short. I don't know. It's pretty close. Well, he's giving his hand. Yeah, they're, they're giving him a mark. Yeah. First down Bears. Just Custom right designs on the mark, right on the mark. Right on the mark. Boy, I, you could measure that, and it might be a half inch short, but it's right dead on the mark. That was good for the Bears because we need, we need to extend a drive here and get some points for our sake. You know, we haven't been very good at finishing drives today. This is one started deeper in our territory. This would be a great one to finish. It would give the Bears a little more confidence back offensively. Not an easy team to run against. The Bears have run over 200 yards. We're team giving up about 70. This time they run it across the middle and a pass caught. Boy, a nice ball fake inside. Fooled me. They hit Will Neal down the center of the football field to the 27. High throw. Great catch. Bears get another first down. And I tell you, that was a great play action fake by Willingham. Grayson threw the ball just exactly. We had two good fakes in there. But here again, even though it was a great job, you, you notice the defensive back was right there. They have not been fooled by a lot of things. I don't know what they're keying on to look at us, but they're not being fooled by a lot of things. They're staying at home. And, and on their defensive assignments and doing what they need to do. Bears have it first down. Ball's on the left hash. Turn. This is Stevens. Tries to stiff arm a man. That's Bell. He'll get it up to the 26. That's a gain of just two. Second and eight. Six minutes to go. Third quarter. Bears up 26-7 driving into the open end here at Moret Stadium. Here again, that looked like to me, you, you saw it right here in front of us. When that play opened up, I mean, I thought that's that seven, eight yard gain, easy. Bam, that guy came from nowhere, makes a tackle. It turned out to be a one yard gain. Bears got to be patient, second and eight. They sent a man in motion, play action. Willingham rolling right, throwing. Man open, caught, 15 10. First down, Bears. I believe that is Lester. Nope, Hampton with the nice catch, his first of the afternoon. And the Bears get a custom design group first down. It's first and goal for LR. Now that looked like the old Grayson Willingham right there. He rolled in there, made a good fake, got outside on the roll, and just threw a strike right on time. That's the passing game we've become accustomed to seeing with Grayson Willingham and all our receivers. Ball's at the seven, far right hash. Willingham steps under center. He'll take the snap from Jefferson. Play action again. Rolling right in the end zone. He'll oh, throw no. it. It's caught. Touchdown. Let's wait. No, he said he didn't control it. Incomplete. I'll Incomplete. That was uh, Ramsour over that there. Exact same play we scored on. He wide open, threw him the ball. and jo- He just, he just, he, the ball was in his hands, and he just flipped it up in the air, and then he couldn't control it before he went out of bounds. What a great play call. We had him again for the same exact play for a touchdown. So an incomplete pass calls his second and goal now to seven. Stops the clock with exactly five minutes to go in the third. Grayson out of the gun this time will send a man in motion. That's Carter. He'll roll left, looking left. Flips it over here, intercepted. Steps out of bounds, but an interception again. Grayson Willingham, and here comes a late flag. May go against the Bears. So an interception down near the goal line by Miles. He just threw it behind him. Yeah, he did. He just, I tell you, Grayson just had a really bad day throwing the football. He threw a couple on this drive that looked good. But once again, the Bears unable to close offensively, and that's so rare for us to get the ball, take the ball down the field. That was a wonderful drive, too. Let's see what, what's going to happen. Face mask. That was Grayson Willingham on the tackle, I believe. No, it wasn't. It happened way down here where he marked it. 
It was somebody down here. I don't know who it was. It was not Grayson. Grayson hit, and that we saw the flag and thought it might have been Grayson. But it's going to go against the LR. Yeah, it was against the Bears. Yeah, it was on the. It was after the interception. Somebody was trying to tackle him. I think there's a. I think there's a little bit of a uh, confusion. Well, maybe you're right. The officials down there talking with the head linesman over there. I tell you, they've had a tough time. Now he's got to re-explain this. <laughs> Here we go. Here comes the explanation. A re-explanation. <laughs> Against Miles. They ripped off, I'm telling you, they ripped off Grayson's helmet. That's what the penalty was. Yeah, they still get the they still get, get the, the ball. football, but this half the distance of the goal. Yeah. They got the call right. They just marked the penalty wrong. Yeah. But the turnover. Second turnover of the day for the Bears. It's going to put Miles way back inside their own five, down to the three, but a first and goal goes awry, and the Bears uh, do not cash in on a great opportunity. Still lead here 26-7. Yeah. And, and should have had a touchdown on the play before. The ball was bobbled, and then, uh, you know, Grayson just threw the ball behind the receiver. He was not wide open, but if the ball was outside where it should have been thrown, you know, it could have been a completion down around the four or five-yard line. Back to pass out of his own end zone. It's a completed pass up to the six. As a completion by Cordier, Tyree gain of three, Not really. second down and seven. <laughs> you know, you're thinking that's a gutsy call throwing down an end zone as bad as they thrown it. But hey, last time they were down there and tried to run it, they gave up the safety. You know, maybe that was a that was a wise call. Cordier still in there. One of three quarterbacks playing today for Miles. They scored a touchdown on the last possession on a nice run. Second and seven. Bears have led all afternoon. 26-7 now. Bears show blitz. Quarterback standing at his own one. Takes the snap. Hands it to Edwards. Finds a little bit of a seam. Get it over the 10. Up close to the first. Down to the 12. Going to be shy. Going to bring up third and one. Third and one now for the Golden Bears. You know, 26, Dante Edwards, is a, he's an excellent running back. 5'8", 215. And I tell you what, he can he can really run. We saw that already. Running left again. This is Cordier. Got the first down. He should get the first down. The quarterback keeper over the left-hand side. His helmet comes off. But a first down nonetheless for the Golden Bears. Keep their drive alive and get some more space as they had it backed up after the turnover and the penalty to the three. So they get the first down to the 14. Daniel Smith comes back in at quarterback. You know, that's... A, that's the basis of their offense, what you saw right there, Juju. That's what they've wanted to do the whole game. They just have not been able to do it. They want to ride that tail back in there and read, and the quarterback either keep, throw, or, you know, what we call the run pass options, the RPOs you hear so much about nowadays. That's exactly what they wanted to do, you know, the entire day. Starting quarterback is now back in there. First and 10, balls at the 14, left hash. And will look to pass, throwing over here, and he throws a – Fastball in the dirt, incomplete, <laughs> second and ten. Good call. You know, if you think back, when he was in there early, especially the first series, he threw everything low. He's just, you know, he's gripping that ball, maybe trying to grip it a little too tight. Sometimes when it's wet, you try to grip it tighter. And sometimes when you grip it tighter, you hold on to it longer, and then it goes low. But, uh, it gives he's a chance. yeah, he's throwing a bunch of them right at their feet today. Get a chance to think about it. He's off the field back in Cordier, second and ten. This is a guy that they've had a little more success with because he – He's a little more of a runner. He can he can ride that thing in there and then keep it. Second down. Waiting on the snap. He's out of the pistol. Edwards straight up the middle. And Williams and Horn in the bare front line. Stop him right at the line of scrimmage. He may get up to the 15. It's going to bring up third and nine now for the Golden Bears. Down to three minutes to go in the third quarter. Around the scores this afternoon, one SAC 8 school has been knocked out of the playoffs. West Florida knocks off Wingate at Wingate. West Florida wins that game 38-17 final. We're waiting on Carson Newman leading Bowie State 17-9, that game of the fourth quarter. Third and nine, left hash, going left to right. They're backed up in their open dead at Moret Stadium. Quarterback Cordier looking left under pressure. Looking and dumps it off incomplete. Incomplete through the hands of the Bears. Make a nice hit up there. Palmer with a nice hit on the running back. Edwards, so another punting situation. Their 11th punt of the afternoon for the Golden Bears of Miles College. Their second appearance in the playoffs. 
Last time they were here in 2012, they got bounced in the first round by West Alabama. And today have trailed the entire way. In, and their punter is going to stand in his own end zone. His right leg must be a little tired today. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> got a final. Carson Newman hangs on. 17-9. They'll be here next week if the Bears can hang on. Second time in uh, what? Six Go. years. Second round of the playoffs. Oh. Low snap. End over end kick. Bears are going to field it. This is Mitchell. Spins around, running right, and is dragged down from behind at the 44. And the Bears are going to get excellent field position once again on the side of Miles. This side of the field has been tilting most of the afternoon. LR has it at the 44, first and 10, leading 26 to 7 here with two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. I think Grayson Willingham's fumble that gave them the ball in our territory. Uh, may have been the only time they've they've gotten a possession outside of right before halftime. They may have gotten to our territory, but you know it's just been the defense has dominated today, and the offense has struggled. But you know again have put together some really good drives, but hadn't been into closing with points. They run left. Carter cuts it up in the middle, as between the tackles and the two hash marks, Ryan Carter up to the 38 had a good game last week against Catawba, kind of an unsung player. Uh, really good blocker, runs the ball well, good receiver out of the backfield, gains six that time, second and four. We were talking about Jaquay Mitchell earlier, and I had to refer to you at halftime to tell me who the player was, but we had a great player some years ago on those great Bear uh, Wishbone teams. His name was Graham Duncan, and Graham Duncan was always the guy like Jaquay Mitchell. Whatever you need doing, if you need to block, he made him, you need to run, he could catch a punt, catch a pass, you name it, he could do it. Here we go again, running with the ball is Carter. And they tried to rip the ball loose. And the ball's going to be at the 35. Shy the first down, third, and less than one now for the Bears. Yeah, you see the big guy coming back in there. Tate Beaver's been, been used a lot today as a blocker. He hasn't carried the ball very much. He's been the primary blocker in there at the fullback or the B-back position. And uh, Amin Stevens is in there now. If he doesn't get the ball, I'm going to be real surprised. Third and one now, 35-yard line, turn, handed off Stevens, first down, pushing forward. Tackled at the 31, pickup of five, four-yard pickup, first down for the Bears at the 31, a custom design group first down. Amin Stevens has had a good game this afternoon, about 20 rushes, Jack, for about 100 yards or so. Yeah, he's had, uh, let me see if I can get his stats up here sometime. He's got 15 rushes for 100 yards, if this is up to It may not have been updated on that last carry, but he's at least 15 rushes, 100 yards right now. First and 10, 31. They shift, hand off Stevens' right side, following his blockers. Little uh, trap play to the right-hand side. I mean, Stevens gets it down to the 24. That's a gain of seven. 42 seconds. This will be the final play, maybe of the third quarter. It's going to bring second and short now for LR, going to the open end of Moret Stadium. I mean, Stevens picking up seven that time. They... Bring in a couple of tight ends. Will Neal comes out. Mitchell back in. Hampton in there for LR. Stevens in. And Ryan Carter will line up on the left wing. Mitchell lines up in the backfield alongside Stevens. Willingham under center. Right hash. Second down. They hand it to Mitchell following his blocker. Should have enough for the first down. Close. Down to the 21. He did. Well, this guy, this guy. There you go. Now they're giving it to him. Yeah. That'll run the clock out, too. Uh, when coach, I watched Coach on the sideline when he hollered over there to get Jaquay. Jaquay he hollered over at Jaquay, go in there. You can almost bet he's going in there to carry the football. He's not going to put him in there unless he's going to get his hands on him. Three quarters are in the books. And the Bears of Lenore Ryan, this first round NCAA Division II playoff game, go to the fourth quarter. Your score, Lenore Ryan, 26 and miles seven. This is Bears football powered by Carolina West Wireless. Quality work that's on time and within. 1490 WSVM Valdez, 96.5 W243 DV FM Valdez, your hometown station. Ow! We go to the fourth quarter, Bears on top here, they have it, first and ten. They play action pass across the middle, caught, dropped by the tight end. 
Bears are trying to go to Drake Starks across the middle. Looks like he had it for a second and had it stripped from him. Incomplete second and ten. I'll tell you, once again, Juju, it's, a, it's the same thing. The Bears just, you know, that's an easy touchdown uh, any other game but today. It seemed like everything we've done well in the past. Drake Starks, all-conference tight end, two years in a row, just a sophomore. And he was open. The ball was perfectly thrown. And Grayson's had two touchdown passes dropped by two different tight ends. Second and ten. Ball's at the right hash. Bears going to the gym side here. Moret Stadium. They run a jet Don't sweep. And Mitchell tackled in the backfield on a loss. Back to the 25. That, loss wow. of four. I'll tell you, that, that Miles defense is... If you don't get them blocked, they just run underneath you all day long, man. They run. They got guys that can really run on defense. Very, very impressive defensive. Uh, I mean, we've been down here and down here and down here, and we've still basically only got two touchdowns today by the offense, and one of those is the first series when we scored in three plays. Bears have 250 yards on the ground here as we start the fourth quarter. Third down. They got to get down to the 12 for a first down play action. Willingham looking downfield across the middle. High throw and complete. They were intended down there for the tight end Ramsor, but was covered tightly. So an incomplete pass going to send out the kicker again. Chase Alba, I believe. Yes, he's out there. So he's going to attempt about a 40-yard punt uh, kick here. Mark it at the 42, but another big play by the Miles defense. Bears are going to have to settle for three. 14-10 to go. Just started the fourth quarter. They line it up right hash at the 42. Owen will be the holder. Strong the snapper. Hold is down. Kick is up. Long good. enough. High enough. And good. Splits the sticks. Chase Elba connects from 43. And with 14-04 to go in the game, Bears tack on another three points. Your score, Lenore Ryan 29 and Miles 7. Back with more, this is Lenore Ryan Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. Points are always in motion. Everyday life can burden with unending pain. And those issues can be symptoms of a more serious issue. Ortho Carolina specializes in hip and knee, sports medicine, spine, and so much more. And at Ortho Carolina, they have a team nearby, ready and willing to correct those issues that plague you. And when time is of the essence, Ortho Carolina has urgent care centers open nights and weekends for fractures, strains, and sprains. That's Ortho Carolina. OrthoCarolina.com. You improved. Back here, Juju Phillips after the Bear field goal. LR leading here 29-7. Miles will get the football here. Again, it's been overcast, rainy, wet, kind of raw this afternoon. Rain has been off and on. I don't know if it's played that much of a factor in the game today, but it is. Uh, the fans have braved the weather today. Still a number of fans out there today. I tell you, I don't think that I don't think the field and or the conditions have had anything to do with no. this football game. I haven't seen anything that made me think, "Oops, there's a there's a bad weather play." Here's an option play by the quarterback Cordier, and he is Sherrod Williams hit in the backfield. He knocks him down, so the Bears' senior linebacker from Edison, Georgia, makes the play. And I, I was a little surprised he did not make all conference. Well, I think it was because he missed some games, you know, in there. He's I, third I thought, on the team I tackles. A, yeah, I thought he was a, 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 an all conference performer. But they had a program record 15 players make the all conference team this year. I know Swingett had more first teamers than Lenore Ryan did, including their entire backfield. And they're bounced from the playoffs in the first round. That's Second why, down and 12. That's why they make the all-conference selections at the end of the season, it, yeah. and not at the end of the play. Bears hit, quarterback running downfield. They throw the pass. He underthrows his receiver running way downfield, Tyree. But the quarterback was hit by Artis as he let the football go. Big time, you're right, Mike. Incomplete third and 12 now for the Golden Bears. He had a step or two on him, but he'd outrun his arm. There was no way. I don't think, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm not sure Brett Favre could have thrown that ball. You know, people remember who that is. You know, he could have thrown that ball that far. It that He was way down. I mean, he had just run as hard as he could go. And sometimes you need to slow up a little bit and then turn it on. He just took off running, and he was way down there. Well, they got hit by Artis. See if the Bears get some pressure. They'll line up four. Artis and Robinson at the end. They'll back up. Looking right, he's under pressure and throws it away into the sideline over there. So another punt coming for Miles College. 
Their 12th punt of the ball game today with 13 minutes to go. Bears on top, 29-7. Bears off. I, I don't think, I think right now, Miles' offensive unit, they have not generated 100 yards of offense today, have they? Uh, let's look at their stats. I'm just right. guessing. Oh, it's close. They're at 94. 94 yards. You know, they of had the one long run. You know. Uh, and they had, lost. Yeah. Ty, they, Ledford, they, Ledford, Ledford uh, not Ledford, uh, Edwards. Edwards had a 38-yard uh, run. That lost was the third of on one play. There's a kick. Ball is not kicked out of bounds. We're waiting for. Uh, another poor kick by the Miles kicker, and we're waiting for the official kind of to mark it. It's going to be in Miles territory. He's still going to the 42, so the Bears have it once again in Miles territory. They have had the ball on this side of the field all game today. This time they'll start at the 42 with 13.02 to go. LR offense trying to really break it open. You've got a feeling that one touchdown here by Lenore Ryan will really break this game open, maybe break the backs of Miles. Yeah, I thought really and truly at halftime, we punch in one more score, then to get, maybe get another one, and we're up, you know, 35 at, uh, in, in the middle of the third quarter. We could start seeing some of the backup people in there, and, you know, but we've had to pretty much keep our first unit in there because uh, this game's still, still in doubt because they can't score right now, but, you know, they did pop one big play, and they have the potential, so... You know, coaches, he doesn't have any choice. He's got to keep the big guys in there and let them play. A couple of uh, defensive backs for Miles uh, get, get up limping. Shade and, I believe, Grayson, the secondary. One's a safety and one's a cornerback. I believe maybe some ankle injuries, but the Bears, Mitchell picked up five, six yards on that carry off the right side, so second and four. Uh, some other stats as we are in the fourth quarter, Jack. You didn't have a chance to mention it, but you mentioned the big fullback, Amin Stevens, has had a fine game yeah. today for LR. Jaquay Mitchell, 11 carries for 64 yards. He's had a good day. Derek Young, five carries for 36. Ryan Carter, five carries for 26. You know, and that's kind of out of the ordinary. Warren Bell's only had three carries for nine yards. Cal Dickey, one for eight. That was a big third down play. Uh, Grayson Willingham, of course, had six carries, but minus one because he's been sacked a couple times. Um, Dante Edwards leads uh, Miles, 13 carries, 79 yards. A 38-yard run for the touchdown was the big one. And, uh, again, they have thrown 15 passes and completed three for a total of 13 yards. So, you know, if you're unable to run the ball, which is your forte, and then you can't throw it, and I'm sure they did a lot of their throwing like the Bears do off play action during the regular season. If you can't run it, it's hard to make those play action fakes or not quite as uh, uh, successful. Second and five now. Bears have it. Ball's on the right hash going towards the gym side here at Moret Stadium. The Bears have a total. Let's see. Oops. Stats. Bring them back up here. Second down and five. Hand off. This is Bell running right. Hesitation. Stiff arm goes out of bounds close to the 30. That's good enough for a custom design group. Bear first down. The Bears have 251 yards rushing. And in 11 games, they only gave up 938 in, in 11 games. They're pretty good against the run. They've proved it today, but the Bears have been relentless in running the football, which is what we usually are. The only thing that's hurt us is two drop passes in, in the second half that would have been touchdowns, and this game would have been on ice, and we'd see Gunnar Anderson in there right now. Bears get an automatic first down at the 32. Take their time now, play clock down to five. Willingham under center, sends a man in motion, handoff, Bell up the middle. Driving forward, the Bears sophomore fullback out of Scotland County. I believe they won last night their playoff game here in North Carolina, down to the 26. It's going to be a gain of five, second and five now for the Bears. Stevens checks in, Bell comes out of there. Yeah, the, only, the only thing disappointing, I think, for the Bears is what I just mentioned. I think Coach maybe felt like early on, you know, if we could just get one more in there, we could have been in their position to play some of the backups a little bit, let them get some more playing time and rest some of our number one guys because, uh, you know, Carson Newman's going to show up here next week knowing they, they can play with us. Here's running right, Mitchell following his blockers, Jason Poe. Poe slips down, but Mitchell follows him inside the 20 down to the 18. Good enough for a custom design group first down as the Bear all-conference lineman 
comes yeah. out right now. He got stepped on down there as he was pulling on the right side. Yeah, he's, James, back, he's back in there. Okay. Yeah. He's been but plagued by he, some leg injuries this year. Well, he got hit by Jaquay. Jaquay's the one that ran, off, ran up his back of his legs there. And, and when he got hit, he kind of fell forward into Jason's legs. First down at the 18. Stevens under, I mean, Willingham under center, turns and hands it to Stevens, has a hole inside the 10, inside the 5, Stevens pushing forward, they drive him into the end zone, touchdown Lenore Ryan, I mean Stevens with a nice strong run, he goes 17 into the land of milk and honey, and the Bears tack on that touchdown we were waiting for, and you know what, that's so great right there because from about the five-yard line on in, it was Amin Stevens and the offensive line pushing him. The, the the entire offensive line was behind him, pushing him into the end zone. The tight ends, the O-line, everybody got in on that. That looked like a rugby scrum, and they just shoved him into the end zone. Six plays, 42 yards, extra point is good. The good guys tack on a touchdown. It's Lenore Ryan, 36. And mile seven, back with more Bear football. Powered by Carolina West Wireless. Carolina West Wireless is a Bears fan, and we're proud to offer hometown prices for the home team, their roommates. NCAA Division II Community Engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student-athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student-athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student-athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after-school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. Mean Stevens takes it in. Here's another pooch kick fielded at the 20 by Miles. Tackled immediately at the 25. So a nice strong run, a 44-yard drive. The Bears cap it and now lead it here 36-7 as Lenore Ryan looks like with 10 and a half minutes to go. Going to meet uh, fellow sack eight rival Carson Newman in round two of the playoffs next Saturday between the Bricks here at Moret Stadium for the second time in six years. Those two schools will play in the second round. Well, actually for the third time in seven years these two schools will be playing in the second round of the playoffs jack they played at carson newman back in 2012 and 2013 played here and looks like they're going to play here again next week for thanksgiving weekend game in the ncaa playoffs here's a pass completed on the far side over there for miles over the 30 up to about the 31. now we you know can spec some of that throwing underneath because with the score as it is now and i think you know, I think finally the, the, the Miles defense just got to the point they just broke on those last couple of runs. I mean, we just ran the ball down the field those last couple of times. They had played so, you know, very superior defense all, all day against the Bears. Here's a running play, and Artis comes in and tackles him along with Houston in the backfield. Bear defensive player of the year, the defense along with Malik Taylor. Stopping the running back, Dante Edwards in the backfield. Going to bring up third and long. Third and eight now for the Golden Bears. Came into this game nine and two, having won three in a row. Five and one of the conference. They won their SIAC conference championship, the title game last week. Winning 21 to six over Albany State. And they uh, jumped about three teams, Jack, to get into the playoffs because seven through ten, all were knocked out and lost last week, so Miles gets in. Yeah, it's hard to argue a 9-2 and two in a conference champion. Yep, you're right. Here's a run pass option across the middle, completed over there for the first down. That's Leonard Tyree, a senior out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. That looked like the offense now that I know they wanted to run from day one. That was the run pass option. He rode the back in there, saw there was no yardage, pulled it out, and as he started to run, he looks downfield. If he sees a receiver on a little uh, stop route somewhere open, he throws him the ball. If he doesn't, he runs the ball. Get the first down with 9.20 to go in the ball game. First and 10 now for the Golden Bears. They have four receivers. 
three here to the near side. Ball is on the far, near the far right hash. Quarterback is Cordier, and he's standing at his own 38. He takes the shotgun snap. He'll keep it. Run pass option over midfield and into LR territory at the 44. Gain of 12. Another first down for the Golden Bears. Tackled by Lenore Ryan's Malik Taylor. There are two. Dante Young and Preston Joseph are in at the linebacker spots. Uh, the the uh, defensive line is still the starting group, and it looks like for the most part the defensive backfield is still the starting part, but uh, Young and uh, Joseph are in there at the linebacker slots right now. First and ten. Ball's on the right hash. Four receivers out for Miles. Here's a run pass option. Cordier keeps it. He'll get up to the 40. Lunges forward. Gain of four. Second and six. And again, this, this we're seeing right now what they had hoped to do from the beginning of the ball game. Uh, the difference was they've got a running quarterback in there now. They did the quarterback they began the game with, Daniel Smith, a 52% passer, you know, which is not that great in football anymore. We used to think if you completed 50% of them, it's pretty good. Now you got to be up around 70% to be, be pretty good. 48's out of the shotgun, second down and six. Shotgun snap, back to pass. They're going to let it go deep downfield, incomplete. Intended for Tyree running down a post pattern covered by J.P. Palmer over there. Incomplete, stops the clock, 7.54 to go in the ball game. Cordier <laughs> laying on the ground, and he looked up there at the white hat, and he said, throw the flag. He gave the seat, said, throw the flag. He got drilled right after that ball left his hand, and the, and the, the official didn't make the call, so obviously it wasn't there. I believe now Miles over 100 yards of offense today with this drive. Yeah. Third yep. down and six. Better get up here and snap the ball. You're going to have a down to three seconds on the play clock. He gets the snap, looking left, throws it over here and complete. Bounce pass to two, uh, the wide receiver, Leonard Tyree. He fielded it on one hop. Incomplete fourth down. Now for the Golden Bears. Let's see if they go for it here or with another punt. Wow. They're going to go and punt the football. Really 13th punt of the afternoon. If I'm, I'm looking for a fake punt right here. I don't see I, how their I, punter, yeah. Jay Fitz, can lift his right leg. Well, I not that. I mean, why would you punt it? 7.50 to go. You're down 36 to 7. The ball is at the 40-yard line. You've had a lot worse field position than this that you give the Bears at some point in time. Got to be alert for a fake right here. The defense is on the field. Low snap. He fumbles the football. Bears are going to get it. They tackle Fitch. Ball just kind of floated back there, and he dropped it, picked it up, got tackled by LR, and the offense will take care of the football here. After Amari Houston made the stop for the Bears, and a turnover on downs, and a special teams boo-boo by the Golden Bears. Wow. I tell you, that's just ball. You're right. <laughs> Mike made that point. We were out here watching the game, Jack, while you were hobnobbing down to the Bears' pavilion that Mike was saying that they had a hard time snapping, snap, the, yeah. snapping the football well, on the a, punt. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I'm not putting that on the snapper. That, yeah, if you're a punter, Mike stood back there just like I did. Cause <laughs> if that ball's low, you catch it and get it off. That's right. He just tried to pick it up, and he couldn't. Pick, he kept stumbling forward trying to pick it up. He's so tired from having kicked the ball today. Well, that may be true, too. Tate, Tate Beaver. Beaver, number 44, running in the secondary for the Bears, gets eight on the play. Down to the 38-yard line, the Fred T. Ford High School Newton product picks up eight, second down and two. Yeah, the Bears now, you know, you're going to see a lot of ground game now. Coach is going to try to run that thing out. We may try to hit them in a minute, but I I would expect right now that Coach feels the way I do. You know, we got 36 points, and we haven't played that well. Basically, three, three of those touchdowns came via the offense. The others came on some uh, – drives that were stopped for field goals and a, and a block punt so you know let's get out of here let's run that clock as long as we can pick up first downs and get this one over with and get ready for Carson Newman gain it they're take you're right they're waiting on the play clock it's down to 20 seconds Willingham taking his time second and short look to the sidelines he is uh under center this time Sahim Brooks checks in along with Latrell Mitchell in there Bieber checks in at fullback Second and short. Wing T look. He'll send a man in motion. Hand to Beaver right side. Has the first down. He get it inside the 35. Down to the 33. Tate Goes Tate Beaver. A Bear custom design group first down. 
Red set of downs, they move the sticks with under seven minutes to go in the game. Beaver checks out, limping a little bit. That right ankle, I believe, or left ankle, has been bothering him the last few weeks. He's missed some time for LR. And Bell get back in there at fullback for the Bears, along with Maggio at tight end. Everybody we've got, you know, we've gotten pretty pretty healthy in most of the positions. A guy that I think could still really help us, Jace Jordan. I'm hoping he was able to come back maybe and play next week. He's on the list where he could be uh, made eligible to play in these games. Handoff Bell spins and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Now, right there's an example. You could see it right here, Juju, really good where Stevens has a tendency on that to slide to the outside. Had he slid to the outside, there was a nice little gap over there for him to run. Uh, Bell hit it, and he spun and went back into where the flow was. And, you know, if you run back toward the flow, you're usually going to wind up somebody hitting you in the face mask. So much of being a really good running back at any level is your vision. Yeah, vision and instinct. Yeah, yeah you just, you're right. You just have a feel for where it is. And Amin has, has learned that, you know, a lot of times it just slide to the outside and keep your shoulders square and keep moving. The good thing is he's only a sophomore. Wow. Second down and nine. Fullback run up the middle again. Bell spins down close to the job. 30. Yeah. That time he stayed kind of to the outside. He picked up a couple of more yards there. That didn't look like it was going to gain much. And then he popped it real quick. Gain of three. Third down and five. Five and a half minutes to go. The ball game. Bears are going to win here. Improve their playoff record this decade and overall to 7-4. and four. And for the first Lenore Ryan football team in their 100-year history, they're going to be 12-0. and 0. No team has ever gone 12-0 and 0 to start the season. And the Bears are five minutes away from making that happen. Third down and five. Ball's at the 30, center of the football field. Hand off again, Bell running right. Trying to push forward and gets down to about the 26. Gonna be about That's going to be shy yeah, of about a yards. yard and a half. Yeah. Interesting call right here now. Do you go field goal and take it or you just eat up? To cl- field goal really doesn't do that much, 36-7. You know, that's a 29-point lead. I'm thinking you're going for this first down, and if you don't, you give them the ball right here. They haven't shown the ability to put a drive together to drive it down the field. So. This could be quick pitch city. Remember, we ran that little quick pitch play a couple times on these situations and picked up the first down. Bears have a couple of freshman uh, wingbacks in there, Cal Dickey and Trey Luttrell. I'm going to have to check with Trey. Is it Luttrell or Luttrell? I think it's Luttrell. They send one in motion, look to the sidelines. See, they could get Miles to jump offside, and the Bears are going to call a timeout here. We'll take a quick timeout. Your score, Lenore Ryan, 36. In mile seven, you're listening to Lenore Ryan football. Powered by Carolina West Wireless. Hey folks, it's Mike Johnson and Mike Johnson here. Create, and the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you. A long two for the Bears. They have it. Willingham turns, hands it off. The bell has the first down. The fullback dives forward inside the 20-yard line. That's, I think that's called the wham play, Jack. They have a couple of lead blockers, and they just wham it up the middle, and he picked up good yardage in the bear first down. Yeah, that, we started, we gave him that little jet sweep look to the, to, uh, the left and then ran the ball back just to the right of center. Uh, as you said, it was just straight-ahead power blocking, and Warren Bell said, hey, a yard and a half, give me the ball. Gunnar Anderson comes over here and gets his helmet. I don't know if he's going to check in now. He's going to take a couple of snaps from uh, fellow Alexander Central High School product Isaac Chapman down there on the sidelines. Yeah, they had, Cougar Chap- Park yeah they had Chapman working at center uh, earlier today. They had three centers working in the pregame, and Chapman was the third one along with Ronnie Clifton and, and uh, Blake Jefferson, who's in there now. Played guard and defensive line for the Bears uh, earlier this year. They moved him over from defense. Timeout. Lenore Ryan, so we'll keep it here, and I think you're right. They're going to check in. Chapman is going to check in at center, and Gunnar Anderson will come in at quarterback, and that's going to do it for the afternoon for Grayson Willingham with three minutes and 30 seconds to go. Lenore Ryan has it first and 10, leading here 36-7. That's a good time now to give you some scores in the NCAA Division II playoffs, maybe some updates on the 2 o'clock games that got underway. I'll give the finals we have thus far. Carson Newman. Wins at Bowie State today, 17-9. They'll be here between the bricks next week to take on the Bears. Winga gets bounced in the first round. At home, they lose to West Florida, 
38-17. It is Shepard knocks off Indiana University, Pennsylvania, 31-27. Kutztown knocks off Tiffin, 33-31. Notre Dame College defeats Westchester, 31-24. And some of the games in the Midwest and West are underway as we speak. In the fourth quarter, Central Missouri leads Indianapolis, 37-19. Colorado Mines is losing to Sioux Falls, 21-14. Uh, Harding and Northwest Missouri hooked up, and this must have been a real game, 7-6, to six, Northwest Missouri. Final score? Final score. Final score. Running left, this is Luttrell, and he has bounced at about the 16, but Trey Luttrell, I should say, gains about four on the play. And uh, another interesting story, Wachita Baptist ranked number four in the country, 38 38- 38 with unranked Lindenwood in the fourth quarter. Texas A&M Commerce leads uh, number 20, leads number 5 Tarleton State 23-13 in the third quarter. So you got some upsets in the top top 5 actually. And then Augustana and uh, Colorado State Pueblo is 3 to nothing in favor of Colorado State Pueblo at, at half. 3 to nothing. Bears are one of nine undefeated teams left in Division 2 to open the playoffs. Looks like maybe one or two of them may go down today. Second down, handoff, Beaver running right side. Tate will get it inside the 15 and drives forward down to the 12. It's going to be close, but not uh, a first down. Bringing up a third and short now, third and about two for the Bears. Trying to run out the clock here, leaning 36-7. Two and a half minutes to go. See if the Bears try to get it into the end zone or just maybe get another fresh set of downs and a first down here. But the Bears nonetheless are going to win today. To improve their playoff record to 7-4. And and we'll take on Carson Newman between the bricks next Saturday afternoon. Here we go under center. Gunder Anderson in. Taking the snaps from fellow high school teammate Isaac Chapman. Ball's in the center of the field. Third and three. Anderson turns. Jet sweep. Ball's on the ground. Fumble. Looks like Miles gets the turnover. I don't know if it was a bad snap or the running back dropped the football. I'm not sure on the jet sweep, but a turnover for the Bears. Third turnover of the afternoon. Miles gets it with 153 to go in the ball game. Gunner got the snap, but that play is such a timing handoff. Gunner got the snap, and boy, he had to wheel real fast, and the ball hit. Uh, was it Cal Dickey? Yeah, I think so. It was Cal Dickey, and the ball hit Cal Dickey. And instead of getting it into his stomach, it hit him on the hip. The ball fell. Gunner was going one way, the ball went the other way, and three three miles linemen just fell on top of it. And the only thing that ever runs there is this game's going to last a little bit longer now because they're not going to – well, they may run it, though. Here's yeah. a stretch play. Edwards running oh. left and a uh, big hit by Jay Wiley. Yeah, you got One some, of the uh, seniors for the Bears. You got been in the, the program for a long time, Jack. He's seen three yeah. head coaches. Right. I started to say his name's on the depth chart for in, backing up at several positions. But the Bears have almost entire second unit defense in there now. Yeah, Jay Wiley, uh, defensive end, senior out of Wilson, North Carolina, and Hunt High School, James Hunt High School. And, uh, again, has been part of, uh, came in, recruited, I believe, by uh, head coach Ian Shields, went through the Mike Keller era, and now with the Bears as a senior, makes the tackle that time, gain of four, second down and six. We're under... All right, a, a minute to go here when the ball is snapped. Here's another stretch play running right. This time Young on the tackle. Dante Young on the stop. Shy the first down. Under a minute to go. Third down now for the Golden Bears. Give Coach Ruffin a lot of credit here, too. He's conference champion, 9-2. and two, Been a good season. And, uh, you know, he knows the situation right here. That's why they're running the football just like the Bears would have to run out this clock. Give him a lot of credit. That's a, that's a veteran coach for you right there. He's... He's very comfortable with what's happened. You know, his team did not play well offensively today. The defense showed up and played really, really well for the most part. But the Bears were just too strong overall. He said it was a big deal for his school to make the playoffs, only the second time in their school history. And he has been there for eight years as a winning record. And Miles has one of the best defenses the Bears have played all year. Miles Jackson, speaking of Miles, the freshman linebacker makes the stop. And that's going to be the final play of the game. So your Lenore Ryan Bears are moving on, survive and advance in the NCAA Division II playoffs. Your final score, Lenore Ryan a winner today. The Bears knock off the Golden Bears 
Your final score, Lenore Ryan 36 and Miles 7. The Bears are moving on to the round of Sweet 16 in the NCAA Division II playoffs. We're back with a post-game show. Stay with us. It's a happy Lenore Ryan today. Moret Stadium the site. Now the rain picks up again as the game is over. It started to rain a little heavier this afternoon, but the Bears win today. Stay tuned. We'll be back with a post-game show. You're listening to Lenore Ryan Football, powered by Carolina West Wireless. Carolina West Wireless is a Bears fan, and we're proud to offer hometown prices for the home.